I'd like to welcome everybody here to a beautiful uh, autumn's day in a bye for the senior hurling final between Comesson and Trim. We see the Trim lads running out here now, and as they run out, we line out the team. In goals, we have Brian Carley. The full back line is Kevin Walsh, CJ Murta, and Paul Dunn. The half back line is made up of Keith McAvoy, Darren Fay, and Tom Canty. At midfield, we have Captain Declan Murray and Joe Lachlan. Half forward line, we have Benny Murray at 10, Ronan Fitzsimons, and Una McCaffrey. And the full forward line, has Alan Smith, Ivor McCaffrey and Norman Dempsey. The subs include uh, Kevin Murray, Paul Gilsonen, Jim Canty, Evan Lynham, Gay Kennedy, Brian Smith, David McGuinness, Darren Mullen, Aidan Leonard, Darren O'Connor and Kevin Meehan. John Andrews is the manager of this team and his selectors helping him are Martin Pelly, Todd O'Loughlin, Kevin Murray Sr, Ted Murta and Martin Dempsey. Trim uh, come to this final, uh, in my view, somewhat slight favourites. I believe they're prepared very, very well, which is not really uh, the way Kilmesson have. Kilmesson tried to win the intermediate uh, hurling uh, final and uh, they went through the qualification on the bare 15. They used one or two uh, elder lemons and they got through, but uh, they found themselves in a semi-final then putting together really their strongest possible senior team. Um, Trim lads out there getting the photograph taken into the sun. There's a great air of optimism here. John Andrews very upbeat as usual. John well liked in Trim and well liked in Kilmesson and a uh, huge bunch of Trim people down here below me in these very elegant red shirts with the crest and everything and the red baseball caps and uh, I see Mr. Dempsey, the travel agent, going across there. So I'm sure you might even sponsor a holiday to these Trim lads now should the win gloriously here today. Will we wait there, Ray? Uh... Are you in? Yes. And Kilmesson have now taken the field. Kilmesson in the blue and white. They have Alan Duffy in goals. The full back line is John Davis, Willie Donnelly and James Battersby. Half back line, John Horton, Jack Smith and Anton O'Neill, the captain. At midfield with Paul Donnelly, Eddie O'Brien. Half forward line, we have Nicky Horton, Chucky Keena and David Donnelly. In the full forward line, we have Ger O'Neill, Jimmy McGuinness and Jimmy Maguire. The subs include Eugene O'Neill, Patrick McGoverton, Martin Curran, Ollie Horton, Pat Martin, Patrick Riley, Leon Maguire, Thomas Dignan, Michael Dennehy, Barry McGuinness, Declan Maguire, Sean Horton and Tommy Horton. Peter Curran, Martin Curran and uh, Jack Noon are the selectors and the management team for the Kilmesson. Kilmesson came through uh, Kildalki in the semi-final on a scoreline of 9-7. to seven. They were anything but uh, impressive that day. They were workmen like uh, Paul Donnelly was just back from a holiday in Spain and was quite sluggish in himself. Jimmy McGuinness was back after an injury. He won a lot of good frees that day, but uh, 
the stick work left something to be uh, desired. Here's Miss Aileen Donnelly going out there to take the photographs. Everybody's hopping around. Willie Donnelly has had enough of that. He's heading back to his full back. Bert, he doesn't want to stay for the photograph. He's been told to come back for the photograph. We bought you, Philip, and uh, it's imperative that we take shots for all the mammies and the daddies and the various people. Uh, John Andrews, back down to trip now for me. Uh, Ray, are we still on the air? Yeah. John Andrews has given me a new team sheet here, as John would. He tells me that the full back line remains the same. Uh, the half back line uh, has changed. Joey O'Loughlin has gone to uh, right half back. And uh, at midfield, Gay Kennedy comes on. Half forward line, Benny Murray. Alan Smith has gone on to the 40. Eula McCaffrey stays on the left wing. Ronan Fitzsimons has gone into the corner. Ivor McCaffrey and Kevin Murray has come on instead of Loman Dempsey. So we have um, quite a few changes there. Joey O'Loughlin gone back to join Darren Fay and Keith McAvoy in the half-back line. Gay Kennedy, who played very well in the junior hurling final here, trim lost by uh, the narrowest of margins to Drumree. Alan Smith, who had a great game in the Junior B football final, has uh, gone to centre half forward, and uh, Ronan Fitzsimons has gone into the corner, probably, I would imagine, to do a roving job out there. We have the Bannockhole here now. Ray, get us the old Bannockhole. They're looking very uh, auspicious on this wonderful day. We can only blame Pumessen and Trevor for the rest of the good game here today because the conditions are absolutely perfect. The band is lively, uh, the work Pumessen blue with a sort of a yellow trim on top. Uh, very fetching, the Pumessen lads there are fucking around. James Battersby has won uh, an All-Ireland uh, B medal with me this year, Keith Monaghan. He's playing corner back. Uh, in goal to Alan Duffy. Chucky Keena wearing the, his green helmet. Ed O'Brien with the blue helmet. The cameraman's yucky phone has gone off here beside me. I would be grossly embarrassed if I was at any out and, and a bloody mobile phone went off, particularly here at the senior uh, hurling final. There's a great crowd coming in here, so there is, and um, we have trim supporters and Clemesson supporters, and I suppose supporters like Jack Quinter are sort of half and half and in the middle. Uh, the referee is Mr. Jimmy Henry. I don't actually see him at the moment. Uh, much loved by all hurling supporters. Not particularly loved well by hurlers, but that's neither here nor there. Sean Colgan in his best Sunday suit is out there looking through his watch. The watch here saying that we have about seven minutes to go. We have... Uh, and now we have uh, Anton O'Neill, the Kilmesson captain, giving his sheets there to uh, to the referee Jimmy Henry. And Decky Murray has come up as well. He's Decky's walking away. We're just on half three, and we're ready for the toss. Jimmy Henry there uh, signing uh, the documentation and giving sheets to uh, Declan and Anton. The sun is sort of shining in from the village end here, from that white village. There's no wind we're talking about at all. Uh, we're having a decision, left and right, Anton and Decky, they're having a little laugh at each other. I suppose they both know it doesn't really matter a great deal. Anton is electing to play out of the town uh, towards the high trees at this end, and uh, they're shaking hands, and we're going in for the photograph. Uh, all right, now we're having this parade here. The Bonnet Yole is deep, both teams down the wing. We're going to look here and see which of the two teams is the more... Uh, Nervous, it's always a good sign to look uh, at the eyes of the players. Decky uh, Murray looking particularly pumped up. Brian Carley looking quite relaxed, smiling at somebody who's calling names. Here, Alan Duffy is smiling, Anton is intense, John Davis, and Will Willie Donnelly's drawing in a lot of air here. Jack Smith looking quite calm, Miley bringing on Garsoon Og uh, Kyle around for a lap of honour beforehand. Chucky with the green helmet, Union McCaffrey absolutely inscrutable as usual. I could imagine going into him and not having my geography uh, essay done. Jimmy Maguire at the back there, quite pumped up. 16. Here at the end is Kevin Murray. He's looking a little bit uh, tight in himself. The older player is looking calmer. Jimmy McGuinness looking down at the ground there and uh, thinking dark thoughts. I was uh, about to say earlier when the blessed cameraman put me off that uh, uh, the most interesting battle here today will be to see who wins out the midfield. Trim have brought in Gay Kennedy alongside Declan Murray. Paul Donnelly remains alongside Eddie O'Brien. 
for Kilmesson and uh, it will be imperative here I think to be winning uh, the majority of the ball at the middle of the field um, the attacks well Nicky Horton has been doing a lot of scoring for uh, Kilmesson Benny Murray doing likewise for the Trim men uh, it'd be interesting to see how many of the six forwards for either Trim or Kilmesson will actually get off the mark today and score maybe the defences will be on top and will be looking for freeze in which case the the free takers will step up there, Benny Murray and Nicky Horton, well able to take frees. There isn't a breath of air here. Everybody is absolutely scalded to the skin. Uh, the Bonham Kjol have headed over on the far side and uh, we're having the, the shortened version of the lap of honour. I'm not sure who the, the trim mascots are. I mean, it'll be pointed out to us afterwards. 16 there at the back of the tail is Kevin Murray. 11 is Ronan Fitzsimons. Is he going to play full forward? 20, there is Gay Kennedy at midfield. 13 is Alan Smith, who's playing centre-half forward on Jack Smith. That'll be an interesting little number, Smith versus Smith. Um, the two goalkeepers uh, both having good seasons, so they have, and uh, I'm sure both of them wanted a good season here today. Young Brian Carley is a particularly good um, stopper of the shot, and um, a long poker out, Alan Duffy is having a good season as well. In terms of size, well, they're about equally matched. Both teams have uh, certain bean poles out there or telegraph poles, so you can pick out Darren Fay. Far more there, and his colleague from the Mead, senior football team, Jimmy McGuinness, is a far more ord, and uh, we're nearly ready to go. Getting a round of applause for the Bannachol. The Ad Boy uh, Pipe Band here. Accordion Band. Accordion Band. Thank you for that, Ray. <laughs> yeah, yes. No, it's not the Ad Boy Radiator Band. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. I think he's on the drink before the game. John Andrews coming across here. We'll have a shot at John Andrews here now, just as they come in. John looking particularly calm here. He's given out about sticks, but how do you play Hurling without giving out about sticks? Decky Murray coming over here to have the last word and a papal blessing from John Andrews or maybe even a, a little drink of Lourdes water to get him going. Tony Donnelly here down underneath us carrying sticks and water for uh, Kilmesson here. Tony has had a bad season with injuries. He played in the intermediate hurling and uh, might have been given an out shirt for the senior panel, but such is life. Uh, People now picking up their mascots and telling them to get off the field because of the feeling this is going to be a man's game. David Donnelly out there shaking hands with Pete McAvoy. That's another interesting little tussle down here. These players will know each other very well. Chucky Keane on the 40, who will be marshalled by Darren Fay. On the far side we have Nicky Horton and going back there is uh, Joey O'Loughlin to mark him. Joey very tight in football. I'm sure he's equally tight in hurling. Jimmy Maguire in the corner there. Uh, Kevin Walsh is marking him. Boot McGuinness at full forward. CJ will mark him. CJ, one of many trim players who have six senior hurling championships. There's CJ and Keith McAvoy and Joey O'Loughlin, Decky Murray, Loman Dempsey, Una McCaffrey, Ivor McCaffrey. An awful lot of experience in, uh, in this team. There's an announcement there. We're going to throw... Oh, yeah, Mr. Kelly is going to throw in the ball ceremoniously. And... Uh, Hopefully nobody will draw the sticks the way the, the Clare boys do. Ollie Baker there now is a, does a fair imitation of a helicopter for the throw-in. So the boys will keep their stick in their sock for this throw-in anyway. And I say for the second throw-in, it'll be very much like uh, my good friend uh, Colin Lynch of Clare. That there'll be a, a vapour trail on the edge of the stick as it comes in to, to strike the ball. And I'm glad I'm up on a high perch here. If Miley and Decky and uh, Ed and Gay Kennedy start twirling sticks in a friendly fashion at each other. Now we've had a, a round of applause for somebody. Thank you, very glad. Yes, very friendly. There won't be an angry word or an ugly scene here today at all.
Now we're back at the game. I think we've had a minute silence there for Joey Horton of Kilmesson. Joey was here at the final last year and uh, light of heaven to him, Joey. Young man played hurling for Kilmesson and Mead has moved on. We're ready to go now. We had our own of Ian. Paul Donnelly and Ed O'Brien there like uh, two greyhounds ready to be slipped. Uh, Declan Murray and Gay Kennedy there eager to get on with it as well. We're going to wait for the Bonnet Hall to leave the field. Uh, players there um, moving around and trying to get rid of the cobwebs. But to have Benny Murray over there be marked by Johnny Horton. Jack Smith and Alan Smith to Anton here on Union. Down in the corner, we have John Davis marking uh, Kevin Murray, is it? At full four, we have Big Eye Burping marked by Willie Donnelly. They know each other quite well. And over there, we have uh, James Battersby uh, on um, Ronan Fitzsimons in the other corner. Now, we settle ourselves up. We'll have a quick look at the watch. It's 3.51. And we're away. Trim win the first ball. Decky turns left, drives it down, going to land on the 30 yard line out there. Anton misses it. Coming out there is Ivor McAfee. Ivor lets it over the shoulder in towards the goals. Goalie going to let this one go out. Could have taken it, uh, but decided we'll take a puck out and sell, and we'll do this in a leisurely fashion. Now, how long will it take both of these teams to settle into their game? Ivor McCaffrey got a first little taste of the ball. Decky Murray got a strike in the ball. Alan Duffy's puck out landing out here in the middle of the field. Benny Murray goes for it. Doesn't get it. It comes across here. Nicky Horton comes up with the ball. He gets thrown to the ground. Kilmesson have their first free from the middle of the field. Nicky will take this. Conditions are perfect. He should be able to make the range. He has about 75 metres to do. It's landing short. It's going to land about five out. The boot puts up a hand. It breaks away. Coming in is Chucky Keane. It spills out here towards Gay Kennedy. Gay Kennedy has ball. He comes around. Paul Donnelly is going to let it go down the wing here. Waiting for Union. Union doubles on it. Jack Smith meeting it out there. Jack Smith lets play. And nearly, nearly does the cameraman and the whole lot of us here. Line ball to trim. Alan Smith will take this from about his 70-yard line. Where from 13. In front is Paul Donnelly, Gay Kennedy behind them is the frame of Big Union, been marked by Jack Smith, Anton has gone behind that again, is coming across here looking for Benny, Benny gets it in the hand, Benny going to go for the first shot, it's half blocked, Paul Do Willie Donnelly takes it in the hand, it fumbles away, he kicks it out as far as Anton, Anton going for the lift, Anton has it in the hand, he's under a lot of pressure, turns and field, drives it long off the kit of David Donnelly is up there, it spills away, Decky Murray picks up the loose ball, he's got red shirts on the wing, down as far as Alan Smith shouts of time. Alan, let's fly into the corner. Out there should be Ronan Fitzsimons waiting for it as Ivor McCaffrey. Willie Donnelly will get the ball. Willie Donnelly will get the ball up here. Fails to get it up under some pressure. Does a swing. It spills up in the air. It goes off stick. And man, Ivor is out there. John Davis is out there. James Battersby is out there. Does a whistle. And uh, the referee says we'll have a free out. If in doubt, we give the defence the benefit of the doubt. Willie Donnelly going to take this from his own corner. It's looking for Nicky. It's going to go over Nicky's head. It's landing out in that wing. Boot again is coming out there. Boot can't get it. Going back there is Decky Murray. Cut two there is Nicky. Nicky read that ball very well. He's looking for space. He flicks it in field. Only as far as CJ Murta who's waiting for that. It was intended for the Boot McGuinness. It's palmed out here again under pressure and in some desperation. It'll be a line ball here for Kilmesson some 50 odd yards out. Paul Dundee going to take this. Paul normally a good striker of the sideline cut. Peter Curran, the manager and coach of Kilmesson over there right beside him. Peter from Westmead. Here comes Paul Dunley. It's low, it's hard, it gets cut away. Darren Fay gets it up on the stick. He's coming out in a straight line. He elects to kick it down the middle of the field. Going out there is Union. Go back there is Jack Smith. Jack will get ahead and drive. Jack drives into the corner. Going out there is Jerry O'Neill. He's come back from a bad injury. Jerry O'Neill will get this ball. He's looking left and right. He's fell to the ground there by CJ Murta. Uh, he broke his um, skull uh, later, earlier in the year and he, he played in the semi-final and he wasn't that happy and he's out to get him clapped around the head again. Jimmy Maguire going out there to see how we are. Um, and Gorman going out there. Joey Lochran, the Kilmesson. Magic Waterman going out there. He elects to have a drink himself. 
seeing as nobody else wants one and uh, hopefully Gerard O'Neill will be able to continue Boot and Guinness there taking the drink this will be a 20 metre free from uh, some 30 metres to the right and it should be the open score for Kilmesson are we nearly ready to go when you're coming back from an injury it's more the shock of the little belt rather than the belt itself that uh, disconcerts you David Donnelly going up for a drink David here in this wing Keep McAvoy mind in him. Referee Jimmy Henry will not have Space Invaders. Put them back on your video screens. And uh, Nicky Horton will um, take this one here. Jerry putting back on his big helmet. Uh, Paul Dunn going back out there to uh, make sure he's all right. And we get the first score of the game here for Kilmesson. It'll be a Nicky Horton uh, free. And Kermesson lead by one to nothing after four and a half minutes of this game here. This game is sort of set off at uh, pedestrian pace at the moment. Each team wanting to mind themselves and keep themselves uh, to last the 60 minutes, which could be difficult out there. Union comes to, drives it out, looking for Rona for Simons. Going out there is number 10, Benny Murray. Benny Murray, very man in form. Good speed, good stick work. Finds Brother Declan. This is surely the equaliser. Up she goes. Lovely, lovely score there from the trim lads, brother to brother. Uh, Decky ran into the space, brother Benny had it seen, and it was absolutely practice field stuff. One apiece, and we played five minutes. Helmets are now gone. Eddie O'Brien and Kilmesson have discarded the helmet. He's gone after Decky Murray. Union out here, uh, been marked by Anton O'Neill. Alan Duffy, second one, is coming out longer. It's landing in the other half of the field. Miley Donnelly lets it go over his head. Nicky Hort. That's not Nicky Hort. It's um, David Donnelly has moved over wings here. We've had a change here. Jared O'Neill has come onto one wing. David Donnelly's gone over onto the far wing. And Nicky now has an opportunity from 50 metres to put Kilmesson ahead again. There's talk of moving back. And here we go. High enough, long enough. And up goes hands. And Nicky gets a second score. Nicky Horton scored an amazing um, 14 points in last year's senior final. Mind you, 11 of them were frees. He's got two on the board here now, and we've played six minutes. Two players won. We've had two frees for Kilmesson and one Decky Murray point for Trim. Jack Smith, Alan Smith comes through. Nicky Horton bats it away, but only as far as Keith McAvoy. Keith drives it back in again, looking for Ronan, but Simon's in the corner. James Battlesby is out there. Ronan looking for the shot, looking for the equaliser. And the verdict is wide. Ronan but Simons managed to get himself an angle and a space. He put up the shot and I'd say it went only very narrowly wide. Two points plays one. Willie Donnelly there issuing instructions in his loud telling voice. Alan Duffy comes again. This one has gone up the middle of the field. Out there is Darren Fay. Nicky Horton at centre forward. Pats it on. Darren and Nicky. David Donnelly. It spills away towards Benny Murray again. Very mu Benny very much the centre man for the trim team. Coming back here to Anton O'Neill. Anton has it in his hand. Goes out to Kittog, looking out there for David Donnelly. David Donnelly will get it second time. Nicky Horton comes in to pickpocket. He has the ball. He drives it in field, looking for the boot again. Who has it in his hand? Runs into a few players, looking for room to shoot. A lot of red shirts arrive. He pats it out to Nicky. Nicky going to drive at the goals. And that's a fine score there. An interchange between Jimmy McGuinness and Nicky Horton. Nicky gets that one off the stick, and it's 3-1. These two men have to play uh, a Junior A semi-final next Saturday night in uh, Park Tolchon. And uh, they combine very well there. Booth McGuinness have the experience to hold on to the ball until the scoring man comes up. Young Brian Carley drives it out. It's landing out in the middle of the field again. Gay Kennedy is out there. Johnny Horton is out there. David Donnelly is out there. Jimmy McGuire going to arrive first. Kevin Walsh is there as well. Is that a push? Kevin Walsh will have the ball. Darren Fay is there, Nicky Horton is working on it, Darren gets a little bit of the ball, that's David Donnelly with the ball, David pats it back to Boot McGuinness, Boot gets choked, he pats it across to Jimmy McGuire, Jimmy McGuire lets fly, is it long enough, there's a cheer going up, it hits the post, it comes back in, Chucky misses, Kate McAvoy misses, Jared O'Neill, Kate McAvoy will get it second time again, the stick is blocked, that's Jared O'Neill, that's Boot McGuinness, Boot has it in the hand, he's charging on the goals, he'll hand pass a Dagny across, Chucky has it, number 11, he's been roughly tackled there with the trim lads. Back to Jimmy Maguire, Jimmy Maguire puts it over the bar. And that's fine combination there from the Kilmesson lads. Uh, they didn't lose the head despite uh, Kevin Walsh, Keith McAvoy, Darren Fay throwing themselves in. Uh, 
rugby fashion to try and block the shot to held the ball held the possession and now it's four points players one we have a lot of whistles frank foley is coming in here cj murta is holding his side he's taken off his helmet i want to see what part no it's not cj in actual fact it's another man with a red helmet it might be keith mcavoy frank uh, checking underneath the jaw bone Draw bone is connected to the skull bone. Uh, referee says you better come over here. This man must be bleeding. John Andrews is calling in the first aid lady. And we're going to have a stoppage here. Now, Trim started with a, a revamped side. Kilmesson started with a 15 in the programme, but they've changed him around. Jared O'Neill has come onto the wing. Nicky Horton is on the 40. David Donnelly has swapped over to the left half forward. Jimmy Maguire, Jimmy McGuinness and Chucky Keane has come off the 40 up into the right corner. The trim markers have remained as they were. Joey O'Loughlin now has gone back to mind uh, Jimmy Maguire. A cornerback, Joey originally selected at midfield, has now we'll moved that Panzer division back into the corner to mind Jimmy Maguire. CJ Mur off, 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 off. That's the water carrier. Uh, a referee, you've more to do to be worrying about the little quantities of H2O. Now, I think we're ready to go. The ball is landing out the middle of the field. Ed O'Brien goes a big hand from Eunan McCaffrey. He saw that a mile away. The big fella gets it. He's well hooked there. Nicky Hort, a great pickpocketer of the ball, gets that. Uh, Kevin Walsh has that ball. He's under a lot of pressure. Hand pass across here to Darren Fay. Darren will go for the long drive. Straight down the middle, Willie Donnelly on Ivor. Ivor and Willie, it, it pins up a little with Anthony Neal only as far as Decky Murray. Back as far as Rowan of Simon's coming in there. It's Benny Murray, Benny Murray going to get the shot. It's blocked by Alan Duffy. Alan Duffy has it in his hands. It's not a great clear, but it's coming out 20 yards. Ed O'Brien doubles on it immediately. Jerry O'Neill, Neal goes for the double, doesn't get the double. His marker there, Keith McAvoy gets slapped down on the shoulder with a loose stick and uh, it'll be a free in from trim from the 70 meter line now Benny Murray coming across to take this we've played um, some 11 minutes it's four plays one Kilmeston have had the good start their forwards have combined well uh, they've got two scores from play and two frees Benny Murray now inside the 70 good opportunity here to get Trim's second point up she goes and it's coming in, it'll do for me, excellent, over the black spot. <laughs> Benny Murray opens his account, Trim have two, and Kilmesson have four, and we've played 11 and a half minutes here, and an absolute glorious day in it, boy. I can never remember a better day here in it, boy. Alan Duffy, something of the busier of the two uh, goalkeepers, now going to drive this out. He's going out to his left again. David Donnelly would be the target man for him. Little nudge back there from Keith McAvoy. It spills away. Nicky Horton can't take it. Lots of red shirts around Nicky Horton. Ed O'Brien is there. Benny Murray is there. Benny trying to control the ball. Alan Smith drives on the ball. Ivor McCaffrey coming out front. Willie Donnelly is right behind him. Willie trying to hold him up there. Here comes Una McCaffrey on the overlap. Una goes for the flick in field. It goes past uh, John Davis. It's still blocked. Going back there is Jack Smith. Jack Smith makes the clear. He's out here. Paul Donnelly on Decky Murray. It spills away to Benny. Benny looking for space. Benny not getting space from Johnny Horton. Gives it back to Ronan. But Simon Ronan finds loves the shot. It's going to land in the five. Keeper takes it in the hand. Keeper coming out looking. He gets hooked. That was always going to happen. It spills away. Anton O'Neill is back there. Two Clemesson lads on the ground. Una McCaffrey lightering with intent. Anton has the ball. Bits of pulls. And it's going to be a free in. Um, not just that clear. I felt Anton O'Neill was fouled first. But Unum was fouled second. And uh, we're going to have a free in here, 20 metre free. Benny Murray was surely taken. Anthony O'Neill walking away limping. He must have taken a stick on the shin bone. Another helmet being discarded there. I think Benny has decided we've had enough of that. Uh, the temperature here and the scalp temperature must be quite appalling. I'm sort of microwaved here myself. <laughs> Mind you, the cameraman has a, a sexy Havana hat on his head and you could do it one. Now Benny trained looking for Trim's third and a straight over the middle. Benny having a good season, he goes on having a good season. Four plays three. Steady stuff from both teams. No uh, obvious department for either teams where they're dominating. Alan Duffy taking yet another puck out. We've hardly had a wide for the game so far. We've had seven scores. Alan hasn't favoured his near side at all. 
He's gone back to his favourite side again. David Donnelly is out there. It's flicked on. Nicky Horton out there. Darren Fay. It breaks away. Nicky gets it second time. Gets it third time. On towards Jimmy Maguire. Joey Lockton is there. David Donnelly makes a good pick up. He's charging on. He gets bundled off the ball. Going back there is Joey Lachlan. Puts it out to the safety of the corner. Goes out over the line. and will be sidelined to Kilmesson. Nicky Horton going to take this from the 14 line. The trim man throws it away. In an ungentlemanly fashion. It is retrieved. Still large numbers uh, arriving at this game here today. Now, we've it all sorted out. About 10 yards out. It'll come straight across the goals. I see Chucky Keane is there, Jerry O'Neill, Boot McGuinness lightering behind. The marking is tight. They're all in pairs. That's not a good cut. It goes out off a of foot. It'll surely be a 45, but the umpire wasn't ready for that, and it's given us wide. Umpires are having a bad year, do you know that? Yeah, in both county hurling, county football. I don't know whether it's me that's just observing it, but uh, uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> right, Brian Carley going to drive this out. It's landing out here in the middle of the field. Jerry O'Neill, Eddie O'Brien, Union comes for the catch again. Alan Smith is coming in. He's stripping away by Keith McAvoy. Jared O'Neill decides to pick, holds him off. Alan Smith drives the long one. Hits it with the shaft, Decky Murray waits, Decky looking for the space, out to Darren Fay, Darren drives to the forwards, out there is John Davis, bats it away to John Horton, John Horton looking for the space to drive, he drives now, good long ball to the forwards, Chucky Keener, it breaks from bottom, Jimmy Maguire coming in, it's held up there, held up there by the green helmet of Paul Dunn, there's a chop down and it'll be a free out from Trim from their own 50 metre line. CJ going to take this from his own 50 meter line. Looking left and right, the uh, trim forwards here, leaving the three inside forwards well in, and their half forward staying towards the middle of the field, creating space here. John Davis has the ball in his hand, comes around Ivor McCaffrey, soloing on, he needs to strike it now, goes left, drives it into the corner. Chucky Keane is going to get there first, has it in the hand, drops it. Back there is Keith McAvoy, is working on it, Paul Dunn is there. Nicky Horton is driven down here with the train. Alan Smith gets first round. Jack Smith is waiting. Alan gets the flick. Anton O'Neill is back there. Alan leaves it behind. Is a line ball. It's going to be a line ball for Trim. The white line is not that uh, very obvious. With the sun in your eye. Alan Smith will take it himself. There's a lot of space in front of Ivor McCaffrey. And Kimmesson want to be very careful. Not to allow him first run and easy possessions. A bit of stick holding there. Play on, says the referee. Jack Smith drives to the forwards. Coming out here, CJ Murch in front of Jimmy McGuinness. There's a little foul from behind. Doug tries to explain it away, but he was leaning from behind. We're getting shouts of referee. The crowd will always hang the referee, no matter what he does. Decky Murray going to take this one. Looking left and right. A lot of room out in this left wing. He drives across towards Ronan Fitzsimons. Ronan looking for the ball. Ronan being marked out there by James Battersby. James Battersby has gone down like a bundle of bricks. I didn't see exactly what happened. Is he holding his knee or his elbow? Ben Gorman going down there to administer first aid. Um, he's getting up. He's getting up. Right. Paul Donnelly going back here from midfield to take a sideline cut from his own 30 metre line. That shouldn't really be wise. It comes up the wing here. Ed O'Brien misses it. Nicky gets a flake on it. It comes across here. Uh, Kevin Walsh gets it away here. Trim moving the ball quickly. Una McCaffrey going to go for the shot. No, he's going to hand it to the brother. The brother doesn't get it. Willie Donnelly gets it. Willie coming out. Flicks it on here. Toast James Battersby. James Battersby makes the lift. Coming in there was Benny Murray, James has it, there was a hand there, James Battersby leaned down from the ball. The referee saw it and it'll be a free here for Benny Murray, some 30 odd metres out and an opportunity to level the scores. After um, some 18 minutes of the first half. Perhaps this game will be about mistakes like that and freeze. Benny very accurate so far. We'll be very confident about this, and everyone seems happy with that. And Benny gets his third free. Trim get their fourth point, and it's four all, and we have played some 17 and a half minutes here in that boy. 
very level throughout. Both teams have uh, shaped their teams to their own strengths and uh, moved around one or two players to try and cover off the opposition a little bit. Alan Duffy again going to drive out. He comes out this wing for a change. Ed O'Brien is out there. Union goes with the stick. It spills away to uh, Gay Kennedy. Gay Kennedy raced away. Nicky Horton puts in the stick. Gay Kennedy pumps it out there looking for Ronan Fitzsimons. Ronan a good runner and it's over hit and it'll be a trim ball. James Battersby should take this line cut. Willie Donnelly going back to take this. Willie gets it up about 10 yards. Benny Murray has it. Benny's pushed in the back and it'll be a free in. Will it be a free in or a line ball? It'll be a free in from about 50 odd metres right out on the sideline. And Benny has an opportunity to put Trim in the lead for the first time. Crowd very calm so far. Not a dirty belt in the game. Benny taking his time. The lift wasn't exactly what he wanted it to be. And this one has gone wide. The lift got a little bit away from Benny there, so it did. And uh, Trim got their, get their third wide. Now, oh. Alan Duffy has taken far more... Um, puck out than Brian Carley have we a stoppage a pregnant pause Alan goes to his left again David Donnelly is out there Benny Murray is out there it spills away David Donnelly has come back to this side Kevin Walsh has come with him Chucky Keena he gets robbed by Decky Murray Paul Dunn is in there Nicky Horton is there it's kicked away Jimmy McGuire leads it for Ed O'Brien Decky Murray gets it in the hand Comes straight down the middle. Class horse, Declan Murray out to Eunan McCaffrey. Eunan looking right, goes left down the wing. Alan Smith gets a touch. Going back there is Jack Smith. Jack Smith looking for room to drive it. He goes left. Out there, John Davis going back. And Ivor McCaffrey coming across. Who has it? Ivor. John. Paul Donnelly is in front. Can't find Paul. Gay yeah, Kennedy drives it back in. Someone shouts, well done, Suggs. Will and Donnelly drives it out here. Two reds and one. Eunan goes for the bat again. Only as far as Anthony Neal, Anthony Neal diagonally across into the corner. The boot McGuinness is going out there at a rapid pace. Keith McAvoy is out there, CJ is out there. Here comes the cross, not a good cross. It comes in, it's very near the end line. CJ has it. He comes under some pressure there from Boot McGuinness and wins a free. And now there's a, a 65 and the referee is going over to uh, discuss it. 65 or free, it'll be 65. Mr. Henry gives it back there. Nicky Horton going back. It's um, four points apiece. We played 21 minutes here. It's getting hotter, if anything at all, and uh, we're near the fourth hour of the day. Both sets of subs sitting down quietly and attentive. Nicky Horton should be within his range. It's going to be long enough. Long enough and wide. And another wide. For Kilmesson, and it's very even, Stephen, here. Brian Carley will drive this one out. None of the pucking out now of an exceptional length at all. Most of it just over the 70. This one now is a better one. I hear that blessed phone again. It's landing on the Kilmesson 70. Lots of people up there. It spills away. Jack Smith sees it first, comes out through the players, tries to hand pass it, can't. It comes forward, Darren Fay is there, Decky Murray is there. Uh, Union tries to get a bit, Jimmy Maguire playing his trade back in the middle of the field. Benny Murray coming across, Benny has the ball, Anton marking him. Benny gets blocked there. Combination of John Horton and Anton Neal back. Anton Neal from Jimmy Maguire, he sees the challenge coming in. Now he'll drive, driven out to the five. Good McGuinness is there, Brian Carley is there, this flicks. The, it gets very close, it's driven away there by uh, Paul Dunn, I think. Or, doesn't much matter out as far as Keith McAvoy. Keith McAvoy is tripped, is he? He's not tripped. He drives the ball. He goes out off the blue shirt of Jared O'Neill and it'll be a trip ball. Um, Brian Carley did well there as the incoming uh, Kilmesson forward uh, 
had only the goalkeeper on his mind and not the ball. The ball spilled and uh, just didn't get as far as the line. Joey O'Loughlin takes that not very far. Ed O'Brien pulls and pulls again. Darren Fay is out there. Ed O'Brien has the ball. He's getting a little bit robust out there at the moment. The ball spills away again. Difficult to see who has. Is that Decky Murray? And now there's a free. There's men down all over the place. Number 10, uh, Nicky Horton is down. Uh, Decky Murray is down, I think. We have first aid men from all around coming in. Drinks of water in the close encounters of a third kind there. There was uh, the stick pulling suddenly got a little bit more furious than it had been up until now. In case of you can't see me, so I let fly now. <laughs> now both men are up, Nicky Horton is up unscathed, Decky Murray is up unscathed, we're ready to go. Uh, CJ I think going to take this from uh, his own 40 line. CJ drives down the wing looking for Benny Murray, Benny comes out and meets it, Benny has the ball, turns right, drives to the forwards, looking for Ivor McCaffrey, Willie Donnelly is there, Jack Smith playing very well, has the ball, he gets blocked down, he gets another goal, Willie Donnelly makes way, Jack drives to the middle of the field, Mickey Horton is all alone, puts up the stick, uh, Ed O'Brien drives it on, it spills away, Jerry O'Neill is there, Darren Fay is there, Nicky Horton is there, Darren Fay gets it up in the hand, Goes Kithog and drives it out here to Una McCaffrey with the long hand. Una goes Kithog again looking for the brother. Willie Donnelly is out in front. Willie can't take it first time. Who has it? Who reacts first? Two on two. It breaks across the goals. Flicks up in the air. Broken back. Difficult to see who has it. Perhaps Alan Smith has it. He flicks it back. Free looking for Benny Burry. Benny going to let fly instantly. He gets blocked as well. Great defensive work from the finesse. And as Benny goes second time, Benny puts it over the bar. Big round of applause here, Trim take the lead for the first time and we have uh, played 25 minutes of the first half. Jared O'Neill and David Donnelly have swapped wings here for uh, Kilmesson. Uh, Kevin Walsh has come out here on David Donnelly. Alan Duffy drives it longer this time, out here towards David, Ed. It gets clicked on, goes out to the line and it'll be a red ball. Jackie Murray going back there. Criticising uh, Kilmesson a minute ago for using uh, one of their best midfielders to the back, taking a side length pull out of defence. Trim doing the same here now. Nine and two will be worn, Kevin Walsh and uh, Ed O'Brien. Don't take it yet as to call a back ten yards, lads. A little bit of uh, line dancing going on there. You couldn't call it set dancing. The, the steps aren't sophisticated enough. Now we're ready to go. 9-2 and two ahead again, it comes down the line here towards, uh, towards Gay Kennedy, Gay get very close to the line, he hand passes it to Anton O'Neill, Anton O'Neill drifts it in, towards Duke Boot, again as Boot tries to bat the ball, he misses completely, Decky Murray has the ball, Decky is space out as far as CJ, David Donnelly coming in, CJ is still there, Decky Murray is there, coming away with the ball there, is Joey O'Loughlin, Joey has the ball again, Joey going to drive out this wing, the favourite and the... Uh, the Benny Ronan for Simon's wing a great deal. Jack Smith sweeping very well. Uh, avoids the first challenge, gets caught in the second challenge, wins it again, loses it again, has it again. Out over the line, it'll be a trim line ball. We play 27 uh, minutes. Crowd beginning to buzz here. The scoreboard says five for the Reds and four for the Blues. Nothing in it at all. A goal would certainly add a certain. It just there's a great side like cut landing in and around the goals. It's patted down. It should be the Blues. Anton O'Neill has it. Anton O'Neill runs straight into Ivor McCaffrey. Ivor stood his ground and it'll be a free out. Uh, Anton fell heavily. They're going to uh, check that out. Um, keeping it calf and Ivor's going to get booked for this. Uh, he stuck his chest into Anton to stop him and Ivor has a fair old chest there <laughs> mightn't be exactly 40 medals on it but there's 37 anyway now Anton will surely get up he was taking a drink of water even the poor old uh, umpire decides that he needs to take fluids as well speaking of that 
This break has been sponsored by 7-Up <laughs> and the Pochine makers of Rat Karen. Now, you get very hot in this game when you're doing nothing. At least if you run around, you can cool down. Free out. Willie Donnelly going to take this from his own 10 meter line. Drives it straight up the middle. Good long delivery, so it is. Tussling going out there. CJ gets it into his hand. Drives it back down, looking for Ronan Fitzsimons. It's Alan Smith that's out at that time. James Battersby gets the ball. He kicks it away. Alan Smith again. It goes off. Alan Smith. Uh, linesman doesn't know. And we're going to get a throw ball. <laughs> right. Paul Donnelly on Gay Kennedy. It didn't go very far. It goes down the line. And it'll be a Kilmesson ball this time. We're coming up to half time. Five plays forward. There's been nothing really between the teams. Uh, no obvious man. I mean, Jack Smith, Willie Donnelly playing well for Kilmes and Nicky Horton. Uh, Trim, Decky Murray, outstanding as usual. Union has been Union and Benny, the two wing forwards there, uh, winning a lot of ball and moving a lot of ball. There's a fine cut up the field there. Goes past several good players. Decky Murray will deliver it back down the middle. Jack Smith gets the ball at feet. Picks it up, decides to go left, drives it up the middle of the field. Ed O'Brien gets his first drive. It spins off the top of the six. Jeremy Neal puts up the hand, doesn't come up with the ball. Back there is Keith McAvoy, who has it. The boot McGuinness has it. He caps on the ground again. Decky Murray is back there. Decky working on the boot. Boot just can't get the ball. He has it now. He's out in the corner. He's going to cross it. Cross it diagonally as far as Ed. Ed has it. Ed's got second strike. And Ed gets the equaliser. It's five plays five. Boot McGuinness had great difficulty there getting up the ball. Mind you, Hideki Murray on his back. Uh, a good diagonal ball back, and Ed O'Brien gets the equaliser. And as half time comes up, we're at five all. We're just going into overtime. Mr. Henry is looking ahead as well. We run a two little stoppages as players were down. He'll probably play a minute for to avoid the Jimmy Cooney effect. Anthony Neal is there. That's Ed O'Brien again. Bit of a wrestling match with Darren Fay. Darren is. Uh, Deemed to have been uh, holding around the neck. It's hard for a big man not to hold uh, a fellow around the neck. He is a shed of plate there. We'll have to get the farrier out to Darren Fay. Dickie Horton has an opportunity here in overtime to uh, put Kilmessen ahead. He has about 76 metres, dare I say, metres to do. It's a big free. Jimmy Maguire and Anton exchange and pleasantries there. This could be the last puck of the game. It's going to be short. No, I tell a lie, it drifts out and drifts wide. It hung in the air for a long time. The whistle is remaining in the mouth. The watch has been brought up to the chin. I'd say this pick puck out could see it. We played about a minute and a half overtime. We're beyond the Jimmy Cooney boundary. Brian Carley here. Going out his right-hand side. Looking into the sun, who can he see? He's been favouring the big man, Union. He's gone down the middle. There's three long whistles and at five apiece. This has been quite a pleasant game. Um, very, very level. Uh, a goal would be an enormous boost to either team. And there'll be a great deal of nervous players going in now at half time. I think the players are going to leave the field. And uh, we'll take a break there, so we will, on this uh, beautiful day where the hurling has been reasonably good. Five scores apiece. Are we gone? We don't want to be in it. Here. Was it? Yes. Are we on? Right. I'd like to welcome everybody back here for the second half. We've had the at Boy Accordion Band playing some very tuneful tunes. Uh, looking around the field, there's no uh, significant change. Paul Donnelly, Ed O'Brien, Decky Murray, Gay Kennedy at midfield. Alan Smith come back onto the 40. Benny on this side, Union. Jack Smith is still there. Johnny Horton, Anton O'Neill. Up front with Ivor and Willie. John and James. Ronan. Kevin Murray down the far side. Everton looks much as was. Uh, both teams have been a little, a little bit uh, tentative in the first half. If a team could go ahead now in this quarter, 
but uh, others will find it very, very difficult. Uh, Jerry O'Neill, Nicky Horton going to flake the ball, heading down in. Jimmy McGuinness flicks it on, going out there. Chucky Keane going to swing. Chucky swings and it goes, flashes across the goals and goes wide. First attack there for um, Kilmesson and. Um, as I was going to say, if any, any team got a little bit of confidence and uh, runs at the others now and gets a few points up, it could be very difficult to peg them back. We have five points apiece, five frees and five from play. Out in the middle of the field here comes as far as Una McCaffrey. Una McCaffrey drives it straight down towards Ivor. Ivor has been marked by Willie. Ivor trying to come around Willie. Stick being held. Free in. Willie complaining that the fist was in his gob. And Benny Murray here after a minute has an opportunity to put trim ahead. 30 odd metres to do. Referee wants them to stand back. Very officious here today. Up goes the point and Benny gets his 4th free. Six plays five. Now, Alan Duffy, long one out to his right hand side. Anton O'Neill lets fly with the stick. It comes as far as Darren Fay. Comes infield to Union. Union has it. Pokes it up in the air. Alan Smith is out there. Jack Smith is there. Alan holds the ball. He hand passes it on to us. Kevin Murray. Back there is uh, Paul Donnelly. Paul Donnelly looking for room. Paul having a quiet game so far. Drives it down. Darren Fay is there. Nicky Horton is there. Gay Kennedy. It's deemed to have gone off. Uh, Nicky Horton. Sideline to Trim. Gay Kennedy moves on. Alan Smith going to take this sideline puck. Two minutes into the second half. Trim taking the lead six points to five. Ronan Fitzsimons is out first, James Battersby is marking him, looking for room to shoot. He lets fly off the left, and Ronan gets his opening score, and Trim have done 7-5 up. And the third quarter could be quite crucial. We don't want to drift out of the game in the third quarter. Uh, from Trim's point of view, it's the time to go ahead, put up a lead, and ask Kilmesson to follow that. If you're Jimmy Maguire pulls, was that a pick-up? It spills away, bits of trips. Davy David Donnelly gets the ball going back there. As far as Kevin Mulch, Kevin Mulch has the ball. Kevin fumbles it. Will he get it second time, third time? Jimmy Maguire is on him. He gives it back to CJ. CJ drives it up here. Paul Donnelly. Yeah, Ken Paul Donnelly has it in the hand. He looks for space. Going to drive long. Benny looking to hook him. He's looking for Chucky Keane. Chucky has it in the hand, heading towards the corner. Let's fly the shot. It's going to be short. Who has it? That's Jimmy Maguire has it. He goes for the kick. It's slashed out there by the trim defence as far as Chucky Keane. Chucky Keane hasn't got it. It spills along the ground. Trim drive it out there. Only as far as Una McCaffrey. Union being chased by Anton O'Neill, Union across field here looking for Gay Kennedy, Gay Kennedy runs straight into Johnny Horton, Gay goes for the shot now, it's heading in towards Alan Duffy, it'll bounce in front of him, it's a bad bounce, it's swept out here towards Willie Donnelly, Willie Donnelly has the ball, Willie trying to get out past the stick and he's deemed to have uh, been fouled, Willie takes it quickly but the referee doesn't want that, we'll have 20 yards for uh, complaining, Egg your arm. Now, seven plays five, four minutes gone in the second half. Willie Donnelly going to take this uh, free out for Kilmesson. Down in front, uh, Kilmesson forwards are spreading themselves out. Jimmy Maguire at midfield now helping uh, Ed O'Brien and Paul Donnelly. Trim's getting something the better of the midfield encounters. Darren Flay wins the ball. He drives it forward over the top. James Battersby comes out, doesn't get it. Out there is Benny Murray. That's Anton O'Neill. Alan Smith drives it into the forwards. Willie Donnelly doesn't get the contact. Ivor is there. Ivor gets it. Alan Smith coming running through. Willie Donnelly it breaks across. One of the time is on his own. Going to go and take the point. Ronan gets the second one. Trim gets the third of the half. And they now have three points to no score in this half and they're opening up a lead one of the time is there slips quietly away 
whilst the bulk of the players were having a tussle for possession it spilled out to him and uh, he decided to go for the point he got it just as easily rifled the goal, ball around the middle of the field, an awful lot of players from both sides in the middle of the field. Jimmy Maguire there, Jimmy being held, he'll drive it into the corner, out in front to CJ, who can't get it, Jared O'Neill is there, CJ still has it, flicks it across towards Darren Fay, it was a little bit short, Darren drives it out here, Jack Smith, Jack Smith wins the ball, he's to go back for it, he's charged down and uh, shouts of our ref, but... Uh, the trim man did put the foot over the ball and uh, hit him into the chest with the shoulder. Now. Opportunity for Nicky Horton to narrow the score. Eight plays five. <laughs> we played five minutes, five and a half minutes of this second half. I can't believe that there's a fellow with a mobile phone here taking all these phone calls. It should be put into a, a bucket of water. Now, we want a stick. Okay, Kennedy coming across here for a drink of water. Lots of people taking on liquids. We'll add on a minute for this stoppage. Now, are we ready to go? Stick for Jack. He got the stick. Long pregnant pause here now. Um, Nicky Horton looking at Jack. They're fixing something up. The various selectors here John Andrews, Martin Kelly, Todd O'Loughlin, Kevin Murray, Ted Murta, Martin Dempsey, Peter Curran. Jap Noon, Martin Curran, staying quiet and calm. We haven't just reached the fiercest part of the battle yet. Trim lead by three points. Kilmess and Killin of four to go, fourth behind of an opportunity to bring this back to two. Nicky Horton makes himself a divot. He's about 50 metres to do, up it goes. And there's a round of applause from the far side. Nicky Horton gets his fourth. Score and it's eight plays six, two points to gap. Six minutes played. Now, Brian Carley, Mead County keeper, taking his first puck out of the half. Heads out to his left. Now that's a poor one. Is it being picked off? It's not Darren Fay and Nicky Horton. Chucky Keener steps in. Chucky pulls into the corner. Out there is Jared O'Neill. Jared O'Neill. Throws off his markers, Burton down in the goals. As he dropped the ball, it's hard to see. Keeper Brian Carley comes out there and makes a great save. It's driven out here towards the sideline. It'll be a line ball for Kilmesson. Joey O'Loughlin back there at corner back. Mark and Jared O'Neill. Jack Smith will take this. Long one, landing 20 yards out. Going out there is CJ, CJ saw it first, he has the ball, he pats it on as far as Gay Kennedy, Gay Kennedy drives to his forwards, Benny Murray underneath it, John Hunt takes it in the hand, comes on 20 yards, cross field towards Jimmy Maguire, a little bit understruck, forcing Jimmy Maguire to put in the stick across, um, across Joey O'Loughlin, and uh, it'll be a free from the middle of the field here for Benny, Benny has uh, nearly 80 metres to do, it's possibly beyond his range he's looking at the goals big gap between the full forward full back up it goes it's landing short on the five there's sticks everywhere Ivor goes to the pick it goes past John Horton Alan Duffy saw it dribbling in it comes out as far as Jack Smith Jack Smith drives down the wing out near the line very near the line over the line line ball trim a little dinkler there across the hard surface of the five-yard box, and uh, it would be uh, it would be something of a pity if the game was won with a, a flittery little score. It'd be much better if we got a good quality score here to settle it up. <coughs> now, <laughs> Trim ready to take the sideline cut. 
great stoppages here. Man down on the ground up here. Ray, up at the top, please, if we could have a shot at that. I don't know whether it's Sunstroke or Hurley Stroke or what it is. Um, we've first aid, we've all sorts of people going out to this. I can't remember. There have been uh, trim people are going out as well. Everyone seems to be concerned about this. And perhaps somebody has healed over. Paul Dundee going back. Is it Willie this down? It's not obvious. Benny Murray having a little look-see. We've medics from both persuasions out here now, putting their combined medical experience. Whatever has happened, did we have a dizzy spell? We often got a dizzy spell. Frank Dempsey here with his microphones and phones and whatnot. Men looking for results from all around the county. From Rhea beating my lock in the Junior A semi-final. Black Hall Gales were a point up with a minute to go in their intermediate semi-final. Tommy Horton walking across there. Pat Riley walking across the other way. Dunboyne have beaten um, Navin and Mahoney. Did Black Hall Gales win, Frank? I think Anton O'Neill did. Now we're having a little chat here with the other media. We're having a long stop here. I, I don't know what happened above. There'll be obviously several Jimmy Cooney minutes added on for this. Um, this game has become quite leisurely. There's a stretcher being brought out. I'm not sure whether that's uh, necessary. Willie Dunley at full back will be a big loss uh, to Kilmesson. He was having a good game on Ivor McCaffrey that was being used there as one of the main target men for the trim attack. Peter Curran, the Kilmesson manager and coach, come back in there to have a huddle with his various men. And uh, Willie Donnelly is up. Uh, he's wearing a bandage, so I take it that he got a belt of a stick. And I'm sure it was only a friendly belt. Uh, and he's ready to go to put him back together and now we have to go back down here for the sideline cut that you all forgot about myself included Ed O'Brien gets a bit of the ball Darren Fay is it on here Alan Smith drops it Nicky Horton is there Nicky Horton gets it second time uh, Anton O'Neill went in late there and uh, hit Alan Smith and he'll get booked for that he's uh, having a chat I didn't see the actual strike myself it was after the ball had been released and um, we'll have a free for Trim. This game should be sparkling up, but if anything, it's uh, sparkling down. Eight plays six. Alan is up, not a bother on him. Anton looks more injured than Alan. Perhaps it was tit for tat, stick for stick. Such things do happen, you know, in hurling games. I've seen it happen before. Benny Murray again. Perhaps outside his range. This one is landing in on the five, tussling and pushing and swinging. It's at feet. Anyone can have it. John Horton gets it out this time. Ed O'Brien has it in the stick. He's going to drive long. He drives long as far as Chucky. Chucky waits, but he gets it in the hand. He drives it long again over the top. Going in. Jimmy McGuire is there. CJ is there. CJ makes a great catch and comes out with it. CJ having a great game at full back. In the middle of the field, uh, referee says play on. That's Decky Murray. Decky gets hooked by the boot. McGuinness out there is CJ uh, Joey O'Loughlin. Back to Decky. Decky drives not very far. Big unit puts the stick up at the hand. He has the ball. Uh, has been fouled there apparently by Jack Smith. And uh, Jersey Pullen. And a free in from Betty Murray. And this one is inside his range. Eight plays six. We have played 14 minutes of the half. Mind you, there's about four minutes stoppages coming. Benny now trying to put trim three up. Here we go, it's long enough. It's long enough, it's long enough. One finger is up and Benny gets his sixth score. Nine for trim, six for Kilmesson. Trim have got four from play and Kilmesson have got three from play. I see Terry Ferguson doing the line here. Terry, a fine hurler. 
out here. Jimmy McGuinness coming out the middle of the field, puts up the hand, gets the ball. Gay Kennedy has got well hit. He's holding on to his head. The ball has been delivered down the middle of the field. Nicky Horton has the ball. He's after throwing off Darren Fay. Here's the shot, and it's over the bar. Nicky Horton cuts the gap back to two. Nine plays seven. Uh, Gay Kennedy there got a tap on the side of the head in that um, high ball situation. Boot delivered it to uh, Nicky Horton, who got off his marker and put it over the bar. I would say Gay is more bamboozled than hurt. Possibly just didn't see it coming. Side of the head, perhaps one of those um, accidental elbows. Long, skinny, bony fellas tend to do that. You get a lot of it in basketball, Gaelic football, and in hurling. <laughs> now, we're ready to go. A drink of water, 9 plus 7, and the game now perhaps going to liven up. We've had that many casualties in emergency war, 10s and... Dr. Doolittles, we could do it a bit of hurling to liven up this game. There's a great drive out by Brian Carley. Out the far side, big union puts the hand on the ball. Drives it up the wing, it gets past Paul Donnelly. Paul just hasn't been able to get into this game. Back there is 16, Kevin Murray. Kevin Murray drives it in field, it misses Benny. Benny is there, it pulls Johnny Horton's leg, free out. Anton uh, adds a little piece to that. And uh, signal's been given. Ball been brought on 20 yards, Anton will take this from about his own 60 yard line the forwards keeping it wide here trying to open up the spaces both teams trying to keep the game free and open driven down here it pats away breaks away Nicky Horton can't get it can't get it who has it this time again going out there CJ Murta having a great game drives it out here looking for Benny Murray Benny has it in the hand goes past Johnny Horton Merton down in the goals leaves the ball behind Johnny Horton's back Benny going again crosses it in field 2-1-1 Willie Donnelly, John Davis, Kevin Murray winds up the stick, Kevin has the ball, Willie Donnelly is in his face, the ball is on the ground, John Davis, Willie Donnelly puffs it out, Anthony and Ian Rollin at the time, as Rollin will go for the shot, Willie Donnelly makes the block, Willie Donnelly trying to get it up, it's difficult for everybody, he gets it up this time, part of that bandage in his face, he comes through two players, hand pass it on here to the brother Miles, Miles drives it low down the wing, but going back out there's Kevin Walsh, Kevin Walsh has it, Jack Smith out there, very far from the centre half. Bert Darren Fay at centre back drives it forward. James Battersby, one of the Simons gets it in the left hand, drives it low straight up the middle. Willie Donnelly spills it. Willie gets fouled at the official on the play. There's a player down here as well, and uh, there's no prisoners to be taken in there in front of the goals. Both teams now sending uh, players to various different places. Alan Smith is limping. Anton O'Neill is limping, the free is taken quickly towards David Donnie, Nicky Horton taken in the hand by the Trim man, driven on up here by Keith McAvoy, over the line, Kilmesson ball, Paul Donnelly going to take this, Johnny Horton steps up, I'll take it, Paul Donnelly moves on, lift the stick, lift the stick, looking for a bit of grass, Terry Ferguson says not too far, Johnny drives it down the line, down the line, it stays in. Jimmy Maguire going to get this. Jimmy Maguire has the ball, looking to cross it, coming across. Jack Smith is out there working six. Jerry O'Neill is out there, can't get the ball up, gets it up second time. Very close to the line, crosses it back in, flick through. Jackie Murray, it spills off and Jimmy Maguire. One hurler of the year on another hurler of the year, I couldn't tell you the years. Flick back to Jimmy Maguire, has a scoring chance and has gone over the bar. We're back to nine plays eight, there's only a point in it. We have played nearly 16 minutes, the third quarter is just about over. This game is livening up here now. We've quite a few players a year, Nicky Horton was twice player of the year. Uh, Anton O'Neill I think was player of the year. We're ready to go, Brian Carley again. The puck outs are getting longer, the passions are getting higher. This one is landing well in the Kermesson half, Chucky Keane pats it down. Chucky come back, uh, right half back, Mark and Una McCaffrey, uh, Anton has gone centre uh, back, uh, Jack Smith has gone uh, half forward, Anton has the ball, he's coming through a plethora of players, he needs to deliver it for the Kilmesson, and now he's gone through two more, he can't put it back in the hand, he has it in the hand, and it'll be a free out for uh, twice in the hand, uh, he, he lost the run of himself there. Trim will be quite delighted there because he managed to come through quite a few players sort of inviting the foul and the free 
We have a substitution on here now. Uh, Loman Dempsey is on. Loman is on, and we'll see who will go off now. We won't uh, second guess who's going off. It's not obvious who's going off just yet. Has anyone gone off? Gay Kennedy is going a corner, and Alan Smith has been taken off. I thought Alan Smith had a good first half, but he's running a little gingerly on the leg. It's Kevin Murray is making way. Kevin Murray is making way. Uh, Ivor McCaffrey has the ball. He didn't mean to do that. Comes out as one of its time as one of time has knocked it up. And he puts it wide, and he won't like to see that tonight because uh, Ronan but Simons normally uh, puts them away. Norman Dempsey was originally picked as corner forward. He's in now instead of Kevin Murray. Nine plays eight. This, the puck is all getting longer here. But again, this puts up the big hand. Can do nothing about it. He's going to pat it on. He's running, he's running. He strokes the ball. It's long. It's landing on the five. Jerry O'Neill goes for the stroke. It hits his back. Uh, going out there is Paul Dunn. Paul Dunn playing well back there. Paul dives at it. That's Decky Murray driving it down the wing. A long, long ball. Anton O'Neill will get the hop. He scoops it away. He goes after it himself. Throws himself bravely at the ball. Lots of players in there now. Uh, Ivor has come to midfield. Ivor has the ball. Gives it on there. A player is on the ground. Alan Smith gets a half strike on the ball. Benny Murray and Johnny Hawke. Paul Donnelly foot up there. Um, Gay Kennedy pulled on by John Davis. Comes to Anton O'Neill. Anton O'Neill drives it down. Out towards the line. And the selectors are going for it. Which means it must be over the line. We played 21 minutes at this half, trim lead by 1-9-8. It's been a very even contest. Kilmesson had six scores from play. Trim have had four, I think. Now, line ball. Decky Murray takes it. This one is low. Oh, lots of players miss it. It's on the ground. Miley Donnelly. Uh, Jack Smith, Jack drives into the forwards, goes over Darren Fay's head, TJ Morton playing very well, saw it again, got it first, pulled around the head, leaves it behind him, Jimmy Maguire has it side, Jimmy Maguire puts it up, there's a great cheer, Jimmy Maguire gets a second score and it's 9-0, trim led by three, and now Kilmessner got the last three scores there all from play, and we're back to a 9-0 situation. We have about eight minutes plus overtime to play. There's hardly a player on the field still playing where he started. Apart from CJ Murta back there, the full back lines and full have saved very much the way they were. Yuna McCaffrey, the target man, Chucky Yuna's big hand gets it again. He comes through a lot of players. Out as far as Alan Smith back. Yuna, Yuna fumbles that up. The trim supporter is not at all happy. Yuna having a good game all the same. Lex for brother Ivor in the corner. Ivor is there, John Davis is on his back, the rest of the match starts, the rugby match starts, can't see the ball, spilling up there, out over the line, it's going to be a trip ball. Willie Donnelly is down on his hunkers again, he's not happy since the belt, uh, there's a stoppage on the play, and the sister coming out there now. If it's near the eye and if it begins to swell up, we will find it very difficult to continue. Substitutes slowly sort of coming out of their dugout. Their subs are very like crabs. To start the day in the shelter and slowly as the sun comes up to begin sort of snake it out so they do. Lobsters do that as well, but you can't take lobsters, that's illegal. <laughs> but I've seen a few. <laughs> now, Willie Donnelly is unhappy. The referee looks unhappy and looks unhappy. JP Noon is going out there. He looks unhappy. He will ask a simple question, do you want to play? Make up your own mind. He's going to play on. We have a line ball here for Trim. We've had that many stops. I don't know how many Jimmy Cooney minutes that on here. We could be still in the middle of this game at tea time. Alan Smith going to take this for Trim. He's just beside his 20 meter line. We're ready to go. Everybody that should be standing is standing. Decky Murray starts a run, Ed O'Brien covers that. Una McCaffrey starts a run, it's very near to dead ball line, various players let it go. Willie Donnelly there, um, wrestling in there with his opposite number. And we go wide, nine apiece Everton to play for. 
would one brilliant point inspire a team to win it? A goal at this crucial time would certainly settle it. Long, long cup out from Alan Duffy. Book McGuinness is the target man. Book gets a few yards and Nicky Horton there being well marked by Darren Fay. Down the field it comes. Two on two. Trim have the ball this time. Keith McAvoy is left behind. Uh, nine is Joey O'Locked and ten is Nicky Horton. Nicky got heads for the corner. Has he overhit it? He probably has. He's overhit it there. He meant to hit Jimmy Maguire. And we have a puck out here for Trim again. The wide's mounting up again. Brian Carley has been something of the busier keeper in the last 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Midfield has been very much even Stephen throughout. Trim possibly had slightly better of it in the first half. Out the middle of the field here, Miley Donnelly, Gay Kennedy, Miley gets the ball down to Jerry O'Neill. Jerry puts a foot on the ball twice or three times. Trim should have the ball, Boot McGuinness is going in, Joey O'Loughlin is in, Decky Murray is borrowing through there, Nicky Horton, Darren Fay, coming back there, pushing the back, I felt from Jimmy Maguire, Kevin Walsh has the ball, he's been chased and hooked, chased and hooked, that's David Donnelly, sticks in the air, Jimmy Maguire flicks it back to Boot, long hand, cross field, finds Miley Donnelly, Miley Donnelly will shoot, it's going to be short, is it, goalkeeper Carly takes it, driven a long way out here, Alan Smith is underneath, Johnny Horton is underneath, Anton O'Neill is underneath, very close to the line, bats it back to Battersby, Battersby comes through the whole lot, kicks it across, Ed O'Brien, Benny Murray, Ed hand passes it to Boot McGuinness on the wing, Boot has two men there, Ron of its side, goes across the field, finds Jack Smith in space, Darren Fay goes out to police that situation, Jack Luckin coming in field for the shot, he's going to shoot, big cheer from the far side, and Jack Smith, Moved to right half forward and has scored, uh, has put Kalmesson in the lead, a lead that they haven't had since about the 20th minute of the first half. 10 plays 9 and Trim must respond now. That's four consecutive frees from play for Kalmesson. 10 plays 9. We have three minutes plus several minutes overtime to go. Brian Carley drives out the long ones, the passions are now bubbling up, Anton O'Neill has, he drops it, it's at feet, Alan Smith lets fly the stick into the back, Derek, Eunan McCaffrey has, he hasn't, Benny Murray has, Benny looking for the shot, he's accelerating away, Boot McGinn is hooking him, Boot took the stick around him, Benny will shoot now, he hits it, half hits it, and there's a whistle on the play, down, 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 down. Uh, I think the Boot uh, wrapped the stick around Benny Murray, and um, you can't do that from behind anyway, we have a 20 metre free, Betty Murray will have the simplest of opportunities to uh, equalise this. 10 plays 9, 5 apiece at half time. Benny in no hurry. These ones can't be missed. Benny puts it over the bar and it's 10 all. One of the times is the only other trim forward to have scored. A mess of three, uh, three picked forwards and Jack Smith at forward scoring from play. Leon McGuire is on for Kilmesson. Who's making way? Is it David Donnelly making way? We'll work that out in a minute. Long ball out here towards Boot McGuinness. The target man comes to Johnny Horton. Johnny Horton drives it straight back in. Jimmy McGuire, Brighton Carley. There's the shot. Straight across the goals, goal chance for Kilmesson. Wide, uh, Brian Carley will be delighted to see that that's been picked out with the nettles behind the goals. David Donnelly has gone off for Kilmesson, uh, Leon McGuire is on. Leon McGuire only 17. Almost certainly the youngest player on the field now. Very strong, fair, uh, very um, tigerish. Brian Carley out to the middle of the field, Eddie O'Brien, Decky Murray spills away, comes as far as Kevin Walsh, Nicky Horton, Nicky on the ground, back to Kevin Walsh, Kevin looking for the shot out towards the line, who's going out towards the line, line ball, Kilmesson, 10 apiece, 
we have about 8 seconds before we go into overtime but there will be an awful lot of overtime and it being at the discretion of the referee we tend to have a lot of overtime to uh, cut it short and vice versa ball arrives in, Darren Fay, Nicky Horton Booth McGuinness coming out there is Joey O'Loughlin Joey O'Loughlin as far as Alan Smith Alan Smith looking for space Alan Smith straight down the middle out there looking for uh, Loman Dempsey Willie Donnelly is out there Loman Dempsey the ball is on the ground they're tossing away Chucky Keane has arrived Union has arrived there's a whistle at the play I think we'll have a throw ball there we're into overtime it's ten apiece we've played 60 minutes which means we're getting a point every three minutes so if either team can get a score at this moment in time it could see the end of the match the ball is driven out by Johnny Hawke that's it Eddie O'Brien gets half hooked and comes as far as Nicky Horton Nicky bundled by three trim players he gets hooked by Benny Murray it's Jack Smith in actual fact is there a trip on the player there's not there'll be a line ball for trim send it in Alan Smith has gone back to take it for trim Kilmessen going back the referee be tempted we're in overtime he's looking at the watch repeatedly perhaps a, a rematch might be the fairest thing here comes the shot for trim it's going to land out in the five Ivor and Willie tossing away it's on the ground Ivor is down it's padded out who has it Benny Murray Chucky Keena uh, Eunan McCaffrey it's blocked there Anton O'Neill has the ball he fists it out there as far as Paul Donnelly Paul had a quiet day today driven down the wing do Kilmessen get a chance they don't comes across here to Decky Murray that's the boot McGuinness the boot can't get the strike I thought I heard a whistle I heard a whistle it's all over and it's 10 points apiece we actually played almost two minutes overtime he could have played two or three more minutes I would have to say here that this is a very even game I felt that neither team actually uh, deserved it uh, Benny Murray for trim got six frees and there's only four other scores Decky got one Benny got one Ronan got two for Kilmesson Nicky Horton got three frees, he got two from play. Jack Smith, Eddie O'Brien, Jimmy McGuinness, and two for Jimmy Maguire. On the weight of actual play, if uh, scores from play count, if it was a boxing match, Kilmesson might just have got it by a slight score, but it's ten apiece and we'll have to come back and probably do that in the next week. <laughs> I think, I think there's a people uh, pile out here. Make a comment that the referee pay for a draw. He did in actual fact. <laughs> Raymond, uh, since we've no uh, presentation to watch, I think we cut it there. Yeah, we're just looking at all the well tanned back. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! All the well tanned back. What do you do again, Tommy? Oh, for God, no. I'm a lot of respect, Patsy, so I am. How do you get the sun tan? What's wrong with you? I have a sun tan. <laughs> You've got a better one now. <laughs> I'll see you, Patsy. Yeah. No. I have to go to about the fairy fairest result, isn't it? Ray, I'm gonna leave you at peace.
I'd like to welcome everybody back here to the senior hurling replay between Trim, who are out in front of us, and Kilmesson. You remember that two weeks ago here in Atboy, it was a beautiful sunny day. It was the hottest day in Belmullet in County Mayo in the century. They had 28 degrees centigrade that day. There was fellas out there, they were not only wearing red uh, shirts, but they were getting sunburnt as well. The score that day was 10 pints apiece. It was 5 pints apiece at half time. And the bookies are going even money on this game here. Well, so waiting for the Kilmesson to come out, we'll line out the, the trim team that are out here in front of us. The um, programme here says that Brian Carley will stay in goals, and he will. Kevin Walsh is at number two. CJ Murta, who had a good game at three. Paul Dunn is number four. The half-back line has Keith McAvoy, Darren Fay, and Joey O'Loughlin. At midfield, we've Declan Murray, the captain, and Gay Kennedy. The half-forward line is Benny Murray, Ronan Fitzsimons, and Una McCaffrey. And the full forward line includes Alan Smith, Ivor McCaffrey and Loman Dempsey. The subs have uh, Kevin Murray, Paul Gilsonen, Jimmy Canty, Evan Lynham, Tom Canty, Brian Smith, David McGuinness, Darren Mullen, Aidan Leonard, Darren O'Connor and Kevin Meehan. John Andrew is out there now giving number nine there, Gay Kennedy, his last instructions and we're getting ready for the photographs. Uh, it'll be a much greyer day here. There's a bit of rain spitting down. The wind is... Uh, of a dubious direction, probably flowing from the dressing room end down towards the town end. And now we're getting the large photograph here with everybody in so that mammies can get big prints of this and say, that's my little darling there pulling the silly face in the background. And in a minute, the fair, the fair run it up. It got here we come. More of the management had been brought across for the photograph. John there, upbeat as ever. He'll surely step in with his own team there. Frankie lying him down underneath me with sticks. Uh, the band, the Bonnie Kjol here, the K and S Accordion Show Band are playing away. We're about a minute before three o'clock. Uh, I'm sure there'll be several swaps and switches here from the programme because uh, I would imagine Joey O'Loughlin now might be sent off to do a marking job on one of the Kilmesson lads. We're waiting for we'll we'll wait for the Kilmesson team. No. And the Kilmesson lads are coming out here. They too remain in the programme the way they were. In goals is Alan Duffy. The full back line has John Davis, Willie Donnelly, and James Bathersby. Half back line is John Horton, Jack Smith, and Anton O'Neill, the captain. At midfield, we've Paul Donnelly and Eddie O'Brien. Half forward line is Nicky Hortons, Chucky Keena, and David Donnelly. And the full forward line is Ger O'Neill, Jimmy McGuinness, and Jimmy Maguire. Subs include Eugene O'Neill, Patrick McGoverton, Martin Corton. Martin's mother died during the week, light of heaven to her. Ollie Horton, Pat Martin, Patrick Riley, Leon McGuire, Thomas Dignam, Michael Dennehy, A, another, he's a great player, uh, Declan McGuire, Tommy Horton and Sean Horton. The selectors here are Peter Curran, Martin Curran and Jap Noon. Now, both teams will be um, obviously making changes to try and uh, nullify the better players on the other side. So we won't know till we actually uh, throw the ball in who's playing where. Everyone has remained as they were last week, but uh, I doubt if that's going to stay there. Teams will play mind games with each other. To give out about Gerlock Nan and Clare, who were the real All-Ireland champions this year, uh, playing mind games and not naming teams and putting on 25 and 24. But I have a feeling that there'll be several of the players that played better a fortnight ago. They'll have to be marked here today. And uh, those of you that are knowledgeable about the game knows that those who played poorly the last time may very well play well today and vice versa. Paul Donnelly out there now had a very quiet game a fortnight ago and uh, sort of a player you'd expect to go up at least £20 in the handicap on his performance from uh, two weeks ago. Mr Henry is Elorna Park at the moment and uh, 
to the officials. I believe there was a bit of a strike over officials here two weeks ago. Terry Ferguson did one line. I see Fergus Smith and Terry Ferguson as Mac again. So the men who stood down have remained stood it down. Uh, we'll stop. <laughs> Ronan. Are we running? Now we're going to have the parade, which is, uh, can very often be the highlight of the day. Kentstown and Central Sound Accordion Band. Accordion Show Band. Do 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 do. These great traditional tunes. In my father's time now, everyone knew the words and uh, would sing them along. Alan Duffy there has enough hurlies with him to play a game on his own. Brian Carley there looking at the crowd. Declan Murray very composed. Willie Donnelly looking very, very determined. Neither team looked particularly skitterish. Ewan and McCaffrey there, as calm as a summer breeze. Been here, done that, bought the t-shirt. Jimmy McGuinness looking down at the ground, no helmet on him. The going here, I'd say, is um, just about the yielding side of good. The breeze is getting up. The showers that weren't supposed to be here are here, and it's cold. We're having the short, the short cut across the middle of the field. I don't think the crowd is as big today as it was uh, two weeks ago. Plenty of umbrellas around the place. Ivor McCaffrey working 14. Brother Union there, won an awful lot of ball and was using Ivor as the target man. Willie Donnelly had a good game that day. Same way Kilmessam were using Jimmy McGuinness as the target man and CJ Murta, the two full backs. Both shone last day. We'll see how it goes today. It's a skithery surface and um, I'd say without any doubt a goal will go in today. Now we had a minute silence for Martin Curran's ma'am and we've had our hour on of Ian and the band are marching themselves off the field and uh, I expect a few lads to run to different positions here. I see Joey O'Loughlin on cornerback, Mark and Jimmy Maguire. Boot McGuinness has gone in at full forward on CJ. Uh, Ger O'Neill is at corner forward here. Down in front, Alan Smith has gone on to the 40 for, uh, for Trim. And the first ball is thrown in and we're away at 3.15. 15 minutes late, Alan coming out for the first ball. Union has it, Union pats it out here. Looking for number two, Kevin Walsh. Kevin will make the lift. He doesn't make the lift. The ground is soft. Pulled on there by Nicky Horton. Only as far as number five, Chucky Keane gets a little bit of the ball, it's the little players. Chucky again, it goes off knees, David Donnelly gets a drive onto it, right into the corner. CJ Murta going out there, Jerry O'Neill arriving second, CJ has the ball, he's going to deliver it now. Long and diagonally across was Decky Murray, who fumbles it but gets it second time. Throws, gets around two, Ed moves it on towards Gay Kennedy, Gay Kennedy comes under pressure from Boot McGuinness, delivers it down the wing looking for Ronan Fitzsimons, Ronan Fitzsimons has it. He's gone around uh, John Davis. John Davis gone to ground. Ronan Fitzsimons can now have a target. It's a lot of steps. He has target practice. And there will be the first one. Ronan Fitzsimons uh, scored two here last week and gets off the mark here in about a minute and a half. John Davis there lost his foot and so wasn't able to put him under any pressure. And uh, he covered a lot of ground before he uh, stroked that over the bar. So first blood to trim. The sod looks softer than I thought it was. The breeze trim have what breeze is in it. It's fallen out here. Alan and Johnny Horton, Nicky Horton, doubles on it. Decky Murray has it in his hand. David Donnelly is marking him. The ball is dropped. David Donnelly, Nicky Horton, on towards Chucky Stick, who's been held. Going back there is Alan Smith, and there's a whistle there. I didn't actually see it myself. Um, it's going to be a free for uh, Kilmesson from about the 50-meter line, so Nicky Horton will have an opportunity of... Um, Equalising here in the third minute. David Donnelly has gone to midfield, marking uh, Decky Murray. Alan Smith is playing centre half forward and he's been marked by Johnny Horton. So the changes are happening. There's the free and it's over the bar and it's a point apiece. After three minutes, Nicky Horton opens his account. He got five uh, scores the last day, three frees and two from play. And um, 
As I was saying there earlier, it definitely is all the cut of a day when goals are going to count. Brian Carley's first puck out. It's landing out in the middle of the field. Declan and David, it breaks away. Decky Murray gets a little bit on it. Nicky Horton gets it only as far as Darren Fay. Paul Donnelly is in there. Uh, Paul wrestles uh, Keith McAvoy to the ground. It'll be a free from Declan Murray from the middle of the field. He's about 80 yards to do. Benny coming out to take this. Benny got seven the last day, six frees and one from play. Probably uh, a little bit far for Benny. He has a breeze behind him. There's three in around the house. Ivor McCaffrey, Loman Dempsey, Ronan Fitzsimons. It's high, high enough, and it's going to be long enough, but it goes out right, and that's the first wide up for Trim there. Score remains one apiece. David Donnelly um, sent out here. Mark and Decky Murray. Um, Gay Kennedy is on Ed O'Brien. John Horton on Alan Smith out around the middle of the field. Alan Duffy's first puck out. This one is landing out over the halfway. Looking out there for the boot. McGuinness to hand is up. Gay Kennedy comes away with that ball. He gets through several charges. Boot McGuinness stops him in his track. The ball is on the ground. Alan Smith is out there. Alan gets it to hand. Drives it in field. It's not picked off. Coming out here is Ronan Fitzsimons. John Davis is out there. John Davis has it in his hand. He's under pressure there from Loman Dempsey. He makes a good long clearance up towards Jimmy Maguire. It beats several players. Jerry O'Neill can't get it. Lots of red shirts back there. Jimmy Maguire trying to get the ball up. Second time, who's should back? The Boot McGuinness, Boot McGuinness on Gay Kennedy. Gay has gone to ground. Diagonal ball into the corner. Looking for the runner. Paul Donnelly is the runner. Paul has it in his hand. He lets fly. And Paul Donnelly is into this game. And there's a great round of applause from the Kilmessen people. Because they're delighted to see that Paul Donnelly is uh, in the game early. He had a very quiet game the last day. He was doing agricultural chores in the morning, which is not the best preparation for a county final. Two plays one, and we've played four minutes here. Gay Kennedy slipped on the soft ground over there and uh, is slow to rise. Mr. Henry, the Ray Chore, is out there and uh, several mentors. Keith McAvoy, Mark and Nicky Horton down here below me. Paul Donnelly playing on the 40. On uh, Darren Fay, Jimmy McGuinness over on the far wing. He's been marked by uh, Paul Dunn. Or is it Kevin Walsh? So they're still settling up their positions. I'd say now they're fairly well settled down now. Long ball, Jack Smith here and Unan McCaffrey. Jack and Unan. Johnny Horton gets a little bit of the ball. Darren Fay gets a little bit of the ball. Going out towards the line. Line ball, Kilmesson. Some of the ground strokes, not exactly of the quality that the players themselves would want. David Donnelly makes a run back looking for the ball. Jack Smith going to take this cut here. Good cut across the middle of the field going out as far as Jerry O'Neill in space. Jerry picks it up, goes left, goes right, going to let go on his right. There's a cheer. Everyone is happy with that and Jerry O'Neill gets on the account. So it's three plays one, very similar to last week when Kilmesson got first blood and led by three to one. Half forward line for Kilmesson now is impressive. They've got the three big men there, McGuinness, Donnelly and Nicky Horton in it. Chucky Keane has gone to corner forward. Defensive linebackers are being put into place. Long ball, David Donnelly bats away. Johnny is in there. Decky is in there. It slips away from Ronan. Alan Smith back to Darren Fay. Darren going to go on the kit dog. Drives a long one into the corner. Ivor McCaffrey is there. Going out as well as Loman Dempsey, Willie Donnelly, James Battersby. Uh, it'll be a free in, 20 metre free, James Mattersby was a little bit over robust in the challenge, Benny Murray going to take this 20 metre free, and a good opportunity for Benny to open up his account. Benny steals a yard or two, the way you would. Ivor in front, he's been marked by James Mattersby, Willie Donny gone back in the line with Alan Duffy, Anton O'Neill is back there. Here we go, Benny, it's gone. Oh, it hits the post and comes back. It's on the ground. James Bathersby had it. Did he pick it up? Is it still on the ground? There'll be a, there'll be a throw ball here from the 20-meter line. I heard a, a hopeful shout of a penalty, but that was never going to happen. It'll be a throw ball um, from the 20-meter line. Willie Dundee going to go out and contest this with Loman Dempsey. Stand back, the rest of you. Well, stand back, the pair of you as well. The ball is in, it's at feet. Stroked out here, coming as far as Decky Murray. Decky drives it up, and Decky opens up his account. After seven minutes here, three points for Kilmesson, two for Trim. 
The ball spun up and Decky is a very efficient hurler. One lift and uh, he knew where the goals was. Three plays to a good lively start here. The rain has stopped. Alan Duffy now going to take his next. This is a long one out over again looking for Boot McGuinness. Lots of jostling going on there. Gay Kennedy got a hand to it but it breaks away. Alan Smith goes for the ball and there's a loose stick. And there'll be 10 yards for um, mouthing. So we'll have a free here from about 60 metres and an opportunity for Benny Murray to equalise this game. John Andrews with the drink, bottle of drinky water. <coughs> Alan Smith slow to get up. No shin pads. He's walking it off. Benny going to continue. Johnny Horton in his face. Three on three, in at the goals. Up she goes, and it's given. As up, Benny Murray gets away. Three apiece, and we've played about eight minutes of the first half here. Good, lively encounter. The scoring rate much higher here. Alan Smith goes back to his perch at centre half forward, be marked by Johnny Horton at centre half back. Ivor McCaffrey playing in the corner. Uh, Loman Dempsey at full forward Jack gets a touch David Donnelly across field Darren Fay back out Johnny Horton can't get it first time he gets hooked Declan Murray back to Paul Donnelly Paul Donnelly drops gets it again someone has dropped the stick Paul can't get away he's looking Gay Kennedy going after him Gay puts him under pressure drives it down the field Loman Dempsey on Willie Donnelly hooshing and pushing Willie Donnelly coming out with the ball soccer style he gets stripped there and it'll be a free out and we're going to have a book in here. Referee may think that that was uh, intentional. Uh, Loman Dempsey acknowledges the, the foul and uh, takes his warning. And no name in the book. Free out here. Anton O'Neill going to take this one, get him into the game. Anton playing left half back. Up in front, Boot McGuinness. Going to be the target man that's breaking towards David Donnelly. Declan Murray read that all the way, blocked by David Donnelly. Declan Murray will get it again, comes under pressure. There's someone jumps in there as Boot McGuinness jumped in there and there'll be a free. It uh, Aussie Rules game, I think, is next week. And we're going to play it. Coming out there, CJ Murta from the full-back, Bert, to take this free, about the 50-metre line. Good, strong, Kilmessen crowd over there underneath the threes. Long one down the wing, looking for Ronan Fitzsimons. Ronan Fitzsimons misses it. John Davis going back. John Davis holding up the ball, gets it in his hand. It's on the ground again. He pulls on it. Bit of short pull in there. It'll be a free out. Anton O'Neill, another opportunity to drive forward. There's actually, apart from Union McCaffrey at the moment and Benny Murray, the whole trim attack are all in new positions. Declan Murray makes an excellent catch and gets pulled there. And it'll be a free out for Trim. Again, CJ coming out the 70 yards to take this. Decky wants to take it himself. He's going to take it quickly. Driven straight down the middle. Look, and Willie Donnelly saw that. There's a stick off Ivor. James Battersby pulls on it. Coming to Ed O'Brien. Ed O'Brien comes under pressure from Gay Kennedy. Anton O'Neill has the ball. Anton goes kit dog. Looking up into the corner. Jerry O'Neill is out there. Chucky Keane is out there. Jerry O'Neill will make the lift now. He goes left. Turning in on the kit dog. Looking for the score. Up she goes, and there's a, a large round of applause over there. The crowd had it mapped over the bar. Four plays, three. Kilmesson created space there, Chucky and uh, Jared O'Neill, and uh, had all the room in the world and put it over from 50 metres. Four plays, three, and we've played 11 minutes here in it by in a very lively game. Both teams seem to have lost their nerves. They were both very nervous in defensive last week, both trying as hard as they could not to lose it forgetting to win it and it seems that we're going to get a much livelier encounter here Anthony Neal to take the sideline cut Johnny Horton runs towards it shouts of no Johnny the marking is very tight here all around the field down the line looking for uh, Boot McGuinness but it goes out over the line and that's wasteful it's hooshed down here Alan Smith going across to take it The ground is filled up here. There's still droves of people arriving in. Wet or no wet. Ladies football or no ladies football. 
good cut there from Alan Smith. Underneath it is Loman Dempsey. Loman Dempsey goes for the shot. It fades out off the stick. And uh, that was a good opportunity. He takes a, a strike on the hand for his effort there. He'll be all right. The referee sees is he okay, and he is. Alan Duffy now. Puck outs again. Not this one, not as long, but the same side. Up goes the... Well, there was a bit of a push in the back. I felt it doesn't come as far. Paul Donnelly is there. Jimmy Maguire is there. Joey O'Loughlin is there. Benny Murray is there. Jimmy Maguire. Anton O'Neill comes up with the ball and charges forward and drives forward. One and one. Chucky Keena has hand on the ball. He's looking to run through. He's sprinting. He's going to get the shot in. Goalkeeper pats it up, and that's a brilliant save from Brian Carley. The shot from uh, Chucky Keena was straight at him. And uh, it went up and over. Five plays, three. Good ball in there from Anton O'Neill. The full forward rounded the full back. The shot wasn't exactly what you wanted, but the score. Great save from Brian Carley and a good score from Chucky Keena. Five plays, three. We've only had one free from either side. The rest have been from play. Good, lively game. It breaks away. Goes as far as Keith McAvoy. Keith McAvoy puts it in for Alan Smith. Paul Donnelly going back there. It breaks away as far as Gay Kennedy. Gay Kennedy looking for the corner. In there is Alan Smith. Paul Donnelly tries to pull it down out of the sky. He'll get it second time. Looking for room up the wing. Striding forward. Coming out. Not the ball he wants. Johnny Horton gets a bit of the ball. Three reds and two blues. The ball is still on the ground. Nicky Horton, Johnny Horton. Johnny Horton gets a strike. Darren Fay puts it back down. It's patted on by Loman Dempsey. Alan Smith can't keep it in. Line ball, Kilmesson. Picked him up. The half, Kilmesson half forward line is playing very deep, which is leaving three on three with lots of space inside. Jerry O'Neill moves off up to the end line, pulling CJ with him. Johnny Horton going to take this. The centre back taking side lines. Not really the best tactic. This one is up. It's very close to the line. It bouts out, and that's another sideline from Kilmesson going out dead. From the halfway line, Keith McAvoy will take this for trim. Ronan Vitsime is coming across to take it. An enormous crowd in front. Jimmy Henry says, pull back now, lads. Keith McAvoy going to take this. David Donnelly in front. Nicky Horton and Decky Murray in front. Here it comes down the line only as far as Jimmy McGuinness. Jimmy cuts through two red shirts. Going to hit the long one. Hit up into the corner here. Chucky Keenan will use the speed again. The bad bounce defeats him the first time. Jared O'Neill can't get it. CJ is there. It breaks away. Nicky Horton is out there. CJ Murta is there. It comes as far as Darren Fay. There was a foul after the ball. CJ Murta was hit on the back. There'll be a free out here from the 50 metre line. Good move from the Kilmesson players. The bounce was unkind to the corner forward. CJ will take this. Not that well struck. Looking for his man in the wing. Up goes Ewan McCaffrey. He makes notes. Ivor McCaffrey making his first catch. He's held by James Battersby and there'll be a free here from about 55 metres. And Benny coming across to see if he can narrow the gap from two to one. Those sort of little dragon frees are somewhat unnecessary. Mind you, it's difficult to uh, mark a man of Ivor McCaffrey's size. Benny puts it up and out. That's a wide from Benny. Trim bring up, uh, trim bring up three wides. I'm not sure Kilmesson have had a wide at all yet. Alan Duffy again. He's gone to his left every time. He's gone straight up the middle. This is a long, long one. Batted away by Decky Murray, doubled on. Anton O'Neill waits. Anton makes the 10 yards, looking for space. Gets a high ball, not that far out. There's pulling and tugging from Jimmy McGuinness and Kevin Walsh. The crowd are incensed about something. Darren Fay clears it down the field. Ed O'Brien at feet. And now we're going to have a, a get off the line. JP uh, is being censured that um, Martin Corn there giving him a helping hand. There was a little bit of pull and it was hard to know who was holding who. I wouldn't like to call it. Now the crowd are enjoying themselves, abusing anybody that they don't like. Mr. Henry goes to the middle of the field. I don't know who has the ball. I suppose we'll have um, the throw ball. Anton has been administered to Dare. Is it a Tom? Drink of water. 
He looks uncomfortable. We'll restart here. I suppose from middle of the field. Referee has the ball. We're going back to a position on the trim 70 meter. Uh, it's thrown in, it spills away. Benny Murray gets a double on it out over the line and it'll be deemed a blue ball. Trim have two forwards on the inside. Now Loman Dempsey and Ivor McCaffrey. Alan Smith is down there. An awful lot of players around the middle of the field allowing a lot of space for both sets of inside forwards. There's a long, long cut from Anton and he'll land out in the corner. Joey O'Loughlin is there. That's Decky Murray with the ball now. He slips. Uh, he's tumbled over. Darren Fay gets the ball away. Jack Smith is six. Ronovit Simons. That's Una McCaffrey. Una McCaffrey pushes off. He drives into the corner. Loman Dempsey and Alan Smith are in there. Willie Donnelly is back there. Loman and Willie. There's a whistle on the play. It'll be a free out. And a uh, bit of argy-bargy. I felt it was a 50-50 call. I'd have let the corner back have the ball, but it'll be a free out here for Kilmes and Willie Donnelly to take this. We have played 18 to 19 minutes of the first half. Five plays three. Willie Donnelly makes the call. He didn't strike it particularly well. It's landing out the middle of the field. Paul Donnelly is there. It's been pushed back in. Benny Murray puts it into space and chases after it. John Davis is there. Benny Murray prevails. Benny now is the space. He's going on the goal. He lets go of the shot. Good save from Alan Duffy. Willie Donnelly will take it. It spills away. Benny will get it again. Back there is James Battersby. James Battersby clears it out towards the sideline. Line ball to trim. That was a very um, brave shot from Benny Murray. He could have taken the point of disease, but he decided to go for the goal. This is how you win championships. Good stuff from the keeper. James Battersby cleared it out. It's coming straight back in again. Jack Smith lets it spill as far as Una McCaffrey. Una McCaffrey lets it spill. James Battersby coming out. James Battersby has it second time. He's dragged to the ground. Wins the free from the 50-meter line. Passions aroused here as we get into the second quarter. The players want the game today. Ours is not to ask the reason why. Willie Donnelly again from 50 metres. This has struck much better from Willie. Nicky Horton is having a very quiet there. Nicky gets a little bit of the ball. Chucky doubles on it. Jerry pulls on it again. It comes back to Darren Fay out towards the line. Nicky Horton is there. Darren comes straight down the line. He drops the ball. He leaves it behind. Nicky gets it up. He slips. Tries to pass it away. That was well read there by Keith McAvoy. Paul Donnelly is there. Keith hits that with the shaft of the stick. It goes about 50 metres. Willie Donnelly having a wrestling match there. With Loman Dempsey. Jack Smith makes a great clear. It's up across the field. David Donnelly goes for the double. Keith McAvoy. Nicky Horton. Nicky Horton. Chucky Keener has the ball. Throws off Paul Dunn. Leaves it out to Boot McGuinness. Boot McGuinness back into Chucky. Can he get the room for the shot? He gets a pole axe there by a mixture of Kevin Walsh, CJ. Boot McGuinness has it again. There's an awful lot of red shirts there. CJ has it. He flicks it downfield to Darren Fay. Darren Fay going to drive it. He hits it with the shaft again. It goes about 50 metres. Comes as far as Ivor McCaffrey. Jack Smith. James Battersby having a good game. Flicks it on to Paul Donnelly. Has Paul got it? He has. Benny Murray is with him. He's behind him. His Rona but Simons, he knocks it in onto the five-yard line. Who goes for it? The full-back goes for it. Round of applause for a great catch. Hand pass it out here. Boot McGuinness and Gay Kennedy. Boot can't make the lift first time. He does second time cross field. Waiting for it is Paul Donnelly, very stationary. It's Ed O'Brien. Ed O'Brien makes good progress. Flicks it into the corner. Jerry O'Neill comes to the ball. First touch lets him down. The, the ground is soft out there. He slips. Ball is on the ground. Kevin Walsh has the ball, he clears it down the field, out towards the line, line ball to uh, Kilmesson. Very lively game at the moment. No quarter being asked, and certainly no quarter being given. Quickly taken there, going in, and just narrowly wide there. Johnny Horton gets Kilmesson's, what I count here as their first wide, really, of the whole game. They're five points. We have played 22 minutes, five points plays three. Quick line cut there. Johnny went for the long distance uh, point who went narrowly wide Brian Carley here long one out, going out over the halfway line Ronan Fitzsimons is out there, it's breaking away, Gay Kennedy is out there, Ronan Fitzsimons will get it, Jimmy Maguire throws himself in, Ronan Fitzsimons lets it go diagonally, looking James Battersby again, a cornerback, having a good game there, marking uh, Ivan McCaffrey Nicky Horton here, Nicky waits for it and he'll be giving it as a line 
Uh, Keith McAvoy was looking for it. Uh, Nicky Horton left it. Nicky taking it himself. It's a good, good long one. Jared O'Neill waiting for the flight of the ball. Uh, well taken there. Um, it's considered a foul there. Chucky Keena brings down CJ Murta. Chucky just didn't see the ball and uh, decided I'll mark the man. 10 or 15 yards for uh, Mouton. Is, that's the kindest way to describe it. CJ Murta bringing it out now to his own 50. He's gained 30 yards there from what was initially just an out shove. 24 minutes gone in this first half. Good, lively game. James Battersby misses it this time. Ivor McCaffrey loses footing. James Battersby going back there. Tries to get it back to Willie Donnelly. Can't. Lorman Dempsey, Ivor McCaffrey, two big men. James Battersby is staying his ground. Johnny Horton is in there. Johnny scoops it up to Willie Donnelly. Willie Donnelly comes through. Alan Smith, his brother, is outside him. Out to Paul Donnelly. Paul will drive Kit Dog. Good horror on the Kit Dog up towards Chucky Keena. Chucky with his neighbour Jerry O'Neill and another neighbour Nicky Horton across the boot. Boot going to go over the shot. Is not going to come in sufficient enough. He's given the point. Uh, well, I had a good uh, line of sight on that, I have to say, lads. And uh, it's officially given as a point. I had it marked up for a wide, but. Uh, such as life, we can discuss that with the players afterwards. There wasn't too much complaining about it. Six plays three, we've 25 minutes played here. The ball is out in the middle of the field. Boot McGuinness again. Uh, Kevin Walsh, uh, Boot has it again. Cross field, not well struck. Picked off there by Una McCaffrey. Una going to lash it to the forwards. Lashing it to his brother Ivor. Ivor gets the hand on it this time. James Battersby is down. There's a player on the inside. Ivor going on himself, giving it into Loman Dempsey. Doesn't just get it first time of asking. He was all keyed up for the goal chance. Uh, the ball is uh, wet. Uh, it's cold out there. Not the same as a fortnight ago. The handling skills are going to be much more different. Union lobs it up with a nine iron. Lots of players in there. The trim lads are down. Union comes forward, charges through. Shouts of charge and across to Decky Murray. Decky Murray gets past Jack Smith. He doesn't strike it very well. Is it going to go wide? Alan Duffy waiting for the wide. It's given wide. Player on the ground there, um, James Battersby. Many of the crowd felt there was a charge in that. Uh, I felt there was a charge myself. Referee playing it on. We're having another stoppage in the game. Last day, there was at least five minutes stoppage time in the second half. The referee gave two. It was about a minute and a half in the first half, and he gave about two and a half minutes. Five minutes till half time. The trim forwards that time had a golden opportunity to get the strike on goal, and uh, it didn't just happen. It didn't just happen. That's the little bit of luck you need. We're still in the first half. The scoreboard says six points to three. We've only had one free from either side. It's a good, lively game. There's no obvious part of the field that either team are dominating. Midfield is even enough. There's a plethora of players, red and blue, around there. Alan Duffy drives it out here. It spills away. Nicky Horton spills it on and chases it himself. The stick is thrown in. Three red shirts back to Paul Donnelly. Paul will go for the shot. I don't think it's going to be long enough. Goalkeeper comes out, stops, comes out. Can't see the ball. It's on the ground. It's flicked away there. By Paul Dunn, it comes as far as Kevin Walsh. Kevin hand passes it to Gay Kennedy. Ground conditions, Jimmy Maguire comes through. It's flicked through again. That's Jerry O'Neill who can't get it up. Coming back there is number nine, Gay Kennedy, who's tripped and it'll be a free out from Trim. Darren Fay out on this side, all alone. He's not seen by CJ. He's seen now. Well, CJ still looking at him. Jimmy Maguire going to pick that up. We won't do that. We'll drive it straight down the field. It's low, not exactly the ball he wanted. It's coming as far as Gay Kennedy. Eddie O'Brien out there, driven down the field, looking for Benny Murray. Goes out over the line, and um, a lot of line balls the players won't want to see from either side tonight. Three minutes plus the X factor, the Jimmy Cooney factor, and uh, the score is six plays three. Anton O'Neill. Another good one, this one is low. He still makes 50, 60 yards towards Boot McGuinness, who pulls on it. Darren Fay is back there, puts it straight back down. Boot, it spills into his hand. He's been held and held and held. Eventually, there's a free. Round of applause for the referee, I think, for waiting the three or four seconds. County players tend not to get the same leeway as uh, other men. Jap Noon has 
come out of his uh, dugout to monitor the situation on behalf of the United Nations Peacekeeping Force. Nicky Horton, well within his range, 60 metres to do. It's not going to be long enough. It's landing on the five. It spills out. It's pulled on. Driven out by Darren Fay. Trim have the ball again. A jersey pull there. Kevin Walsh takes his time, but then he gets hooked. Driven in here towards Chucky Keena. Chucky Keena going to beat Paul Dunn to it. Paul Dunn beats him second time. Jared O'Neill gets the spillage. Jared O'Neill looking for the space. CJ is after him. He's taking a foul and a flicks it back to Paul Donnelly. Paul Donnelly survives Darren Fay. He gets blocked by Decky Murray. De Darren Fay gets it again, going out on the kit dog. Good clearance out here. Jack Smith is waiting with Una McCaffrey. Jack goes for the lift. Alan Smith arrives to flick it away. Alan Smith gets it up, flicks it in field, looking for Ivor McCaffrey. Ivor McCaffrey can't get it. Jack Smith across towards uh, John Davis. David Donnelly, Boot McGuinness. Uh, coming through there is Kevin Walsh. Uh, Gay Kennedy has the ball. He's hooked and croaked. The ball is on the ground. Anton O'Neill can't get it. Gay Kennedy again charging on. Turned around, flicks it back. Kevin Walsh drives it into the full forward. Up goes the big hand. Eunan McCaffrey has it. It spills away. James Battersby, Eunan, Jack Smith kicked away. Jack Smith chasing. Benny Murray chasing. Anton O'Neill has it now. He's felled. It's on the ground. He seems to have it again. Anthony Neal at its best for the battle is thickest. Gets it up here to Jimmy Maguire, who's tumbled. Free to Kilmessen from the middle of the field. Jimmy McGuinness giving him a pat on the back. We're getting up to the halfway line. Half time, I should say. Six on three. The long ball looking for Paul Donnelly. Paul puts up the paw. Doesn't get it first time. Darren Fay gets it to Jerry O'Neill. Goes left. Going to go right with the shot. Doesn't strike it very well. Goalkeeper decides to take it for safety. Comes under pressure by Nicky Horton. Uh, ball on ground. Goalkeeper on top of it. A standoff situation. We'll have a throw ball from the 20 metre line. Someone throws it away. We're uh, heading towards the last. We're in the last minute. There'll be about two minutes of play here. Two minutes of time. These uh, 20 metre throw balls. Two on two. Paul Donnelly is in there. Jared O'Neill is in there. Jerry is staying in there. Decky Murray is in there. Nobody behind from either side is driven in. It's not driven in. We're into overtime. Uh, Boot McGuinness decides I'll take up the perch on Decky Murray. Uh, the referee nearly afraid to throw it in. Boot gets the scalp on it and it goes wide. An amusing moment there. Uh, I think the most nervous player on the field was the referee because we were sort of winding it up like Colin Lynch and Ollie Baker, a la Clare, the way you play it, when the blood is rushing around your ears. Brian Carley here, driving it high and long, landing on the Kilmesson 70, Jack and Unan spills away, taken there by Keith McAvoy, he's been policed by Nicky Horton, there's a chop I think from Jack Smith, it'll be a free down, there's been very few wides, I've counted four for Trim and two for Kilmesson, Decky Murray going to take this from uh, just short of the 70 metre line, which is here beside the green and yellow flag. Alan Smith is in front, David Donnelly is in front. Decky should have the range. It's long enough, it's long enough, it's certainly straight enough. And Trim get a score here just before half time. Brings up four points, plays six. We're about a minute and a half into overtime. Uh, I, the referee's body language says that there will be no more play. He wants this ball. He's saying, give me the ball. It's over. Can uh, Trim get the last blood there with the last stroke? It's six plays four. Uh, Kilmesson probably deserved their lead. Uh, they got good scores through Paul Donnelly. Nicky Horton got a free. Chucky, Keane and Jimmy McGuinness. Jerry Neal got two uh, for Trim. There was a free from Decky Murray and a free from Benny Murray. Declan got a point and Ronan Fitzsimons got a point. And at half time, both teams are well in it. Trim played with a little breeze, uh, they're two behind, and uh, we'll wait and see. This is a far better match than last week. It's been played in a good sporting uh, a spirit, and uh, the referee has uh, given a fair account of himself, really. Not a well-liked man, so we'll, we'll stop for the tea there now, so we will. Are we in? I'd like to welcome everybody back here for the second half. It's coming up to... Um, two minutes to four and we're ready to go uh, there seems no obvious changes Alan Smith has gone on the 40 for trim here it's uh, six points plays four 
Uh, it's a much livelier match. I have a feeling that a goal for either team will uh, turn this match. Decky Murray and Gay Kennedy at midfield for Trim. David Donnelly and Ed O'Brien at midfield for uh, Kilmesson. Um, we're ready to go with the second half. Jimmy McGuinness, uh, Paul Donnelly on the 40, Nicky Horton. First ball won by Ed O'Brien. He charges on. He gets the ball on towards Nicky Horton. Nicky Horton pulls it over his head. Come back there is Kevin Walsh who has it. Kevin looking for space. Looking for space to drive it. He drives it up the wing looking for Benny Murray. N Anton O'Neill read that all the way. Boot McGuinness going down after it. Physical charge is going in there. The ball is still there. Benny Murray has it now. There's a, a swing, bad swing there, and a second bad swing, and it'll be a free out for uh, Trim. Who's been asked across? Decky Murray comes across to sort that one out. And um, we have a book in here. Jimmy McGuinness is going to be booked for that um, charge on Benny Murray. Decky Murray coming back here to his own 60-metre line. We have played um, a minute of this game. <laughs> Mr. Henry having a long chat with him there. Having settled the matter, the free is back further. Mr. Henry wants this game to be played at his pace. And Mr. Henry will have his way. Now, Decky Murray to get this game going again. Low trajectory diagonally across. Looking for Ivor McCaffrey who flicks it on for Union. It's not a good pass. Union gets it anyway, it's blocked by James Bathersby who can't control it. Ivor is in there, there was a wild stick and it'll be a three for Trim from about 68 metres. Declan coming up to take that. Scoring opportunity here. Can make the range from here. It's now a 65. Now, no fluency yet in this second half. Is it long enough? Is it long enough? Goalkeeper puts up the hand and spills it. Willie Donnelly gets a little bit away. He goes down and it'll be a free out. Alan Smith there went in with the physical charge. James Bathersby comes over to uh, impress upon him. Things are now being said. Let's hope this doesn't turn into a talking game. And now we're having a book and down this end. I suppose the referees tend to try and keep things equitable. The last day I felt that the referee basically chickened out on the three more minutes that might have been played at 10-all. He decided we'll give everybody another day. Right, as I was saying, no fluency in this half yet. We've played uh, three minutes. Willie Donnelly will take this free out for Kilmesson. Up in the air, good long one, looking for Jimmy McGuinness. It's broken away over heads, Jimmy McGuire, uh, Joey O'Loughlin. Boot McGuinness has it, going to drive, he drives across, it's heading towards the goals, and it goes straight over the bar, and Jimmy McGuinness gets first blood for Kilmesson, and they go three points in front. Uh, in the third quarter, the last day, Trim went uh, three up, Kilmesson are now three up, and uh, scoring, they've had four forwards that have scored, Trim have had two forwards that have scored, and only one from play, Brian Carley drives it out towards the middle of the field, a lot of players out there. Union puts up the big hand and comes down with the ball. Runs with it. Darren Fayne is outside. Hits it low straight up the middle. Johnny Horton will get that ball. Comes under a, a, a strong uh, challenge from Benny Murray. Wins the free. Anton O'Neill steps up for that. Spectators always get confused by what's a, a shoulder and what's a, a shoulder onto a chest. And uh, it amazes me. Because they pay good money to go to games. They should know. Anton O'Neill from his own 55. Not well struck. Straight down the middle. David Donnelly uh, doesn't get it. Darren Fay. And his legs in there. And Decky Murray drives it low out towards uh, Unan. Unan under pressure from Jack. Jack has thrown. Unan threw down the stick. But Jack is deemed as holding. And this one is about 60 metres out. And will Benny or Decky take it? Benny's going to go for this one. He has less than uh, 60 to do. Should be well within his range. Slight breeze into his face. Back there, Willie Dunley is Mark and Loman Dempsey. Johnny Horton decides to put another person into the goals. It's long enough and it's over the bar. And Benny Murray gets his second free. Equalises Jimmy McGuinness's early point. And it's now plays seven, plays five. Two points in it. 
Either team getting a goal here now would uh, sorely hurt the others. They've both played coming up in 100 minutes hurling in this final, and neither has put a goal into the other. It's an enormous uh, psychological wound. Out towards the wing, Benny will get that, Anton O'Neill, Jimmy McGuinness. Jimmy McGuinness can't get it second time. Pulling away, Alan Smith, Anton O'Neill, Benny Murray. Still on the ground, Benny looking for space, Johnny Horton, Gay Kennedy, Miley Donnelly. Gay Kennedy has it in the hand. Uh, Miley drops the stick, he's chased, chasing after, and Una McCaffrey will go long. He goes long, Ronan Fitzsimons misses, Ivor misses. Coming out there is uh, John Davis who drives it out, Unan's big hand. Hand pass across to Ronan Fitzsimons, Ronan will be looking for the shot. Jack Smith, good block there from Johnny Horton. I think a Red O'Brien, the shot is completely blocked down. Willie Donnelly having yet another good game, been held. Been held and uh, gets the free out. Perhaps he was holding a little piece of the stick again. Players are given out and the 20 metres uh, will be given. Uh, Kilmesson committed that error of judgment in the first half. Trim do it now. Now it's a, a free out from the 50, which means Willie Donnelly will be able to hit the opposite 50 at his ease. Goes long into the corner. Jimmy Maguire is out there. Joey O'Loughlin is out there. It spills away. Jaron O'Neill stays on his feet, gets the ball, flicks it up very high. Roa Darren Fay comes in like a colossus and picks it away. Batted on there by Kevin Walsh. Uh, John Davis. Alan Smith is there. Sticks being held. Feet on the ground. Johnny Horton trying to pick it. Deemed to have put his hand down. Alan Smith has the free from the middle of the field. And 10 yards. Decky Murray coming up to take it. Long ball landing on the five. Two on two. Up goes the hand. Ewan looking for the goal. Good block. No, it's not blocked. The goal for Trim. And Trim take the lead there. Ivan McCaffrey gets his goal. And Trim now go into the lead. 1-5 plays seven. James Battersby got a block on the shot. It's still spun into the corner. And Trim gets first blood. And we have played uh, nearly eight minutes of this second half. The 98th minute of this final. Darren Fay misses. Paul Donnelly, the kick there from Kevin Walsh. Paul Donnelly again. Alan Smith, David Donnelly. Going back there is Joey O'Loughlin. Joey O'Loughlin will get the ball. He doesn't. The rugby challenges go in. Cleared out there by uh, number five, Keith McAvoy. Ed O'Brien goes for the shot, and Ed brings up Kilmesson's um, first wide of the second half. Brian Carley with the ball. 1-5, play 7, and the game now getting livelier. Paul Donnelly is uh, down in the middle of the field. Jimmy Henry goes over and sees he all right. None of the other players seem to unduly concerned. And the sister comes across, and there's somebody else being called across. There must be a little cut involved. We're calling for more people coming across. The John's Ambulance on the way out. Peter Corn coming out. <laughs> uh, hopefully the cameraman's comment uh, won't be heard. Now we're having a stoppage on the play here. Um, counting the time. Referees conscious of keeping the time right. Little bit of a cut I feel. Nobody seems unduly worried. The John Zamelins people are looking after this. Darren Fay there looking in and walking away. Darren made a great spectacular catch there a minute ago, which launched the attack, which produced the goal. No substitutes as yet. Both teams settle down now to a shape and a form that they're both happy with. Nicky Horton and Chucky Keane are swapping places over there. I'd imagine that's a temporary position. Perhaps it's not. Peter Curran coming back. Nicky Horton gone corner forward. Not to be let in too near your goals. Ever accurate. Pull Jimmy McGinn has gone in the other corner now. So we've Jerry O'Neill for Kilmeston at full forward. Boot McGinnis and Nicky Horton playing the two corners. Chucky Keane and Jimmy Maguire. Their markers have, ju have duly uh, come out with them. So it's one on one no matter where you play. Joey O'Loughlin and Jimmy Maguire. 
Uh, Paul Dunn over there on Chucky Keena. Brian Carley had the ball. We have about two extra minutes to play. I'll put down plus two. It's going out to the middle of the field, out near the dugout. Sticks goes up. Union doesn't get it. It's spun away. Nicky Horton gets it in the hand, looking for the shot. Hooks it up in there, landing on the five, two on two. And Kevin Walsh saw that first. There's still pressures across the goals. It's not gone out just yet. Darren Fay will get there first. Jimmy McGuinness, old partner, is out there. Puts him under pressure. It comes out about 30 yards. Jimmy McGuire across to Ed O'Brien. Ed having a good game. This won't come back. And this will be Kilmesson's second wide. And it's four wides apiece. Both teams have scored more than they've uh, put wide. It's a reflection on the quality of the play. It's a good game out here. Midfield remains very even. Brian Carley, a little bit shorter. Middle of the field, Gay Kennedy. Jimmy Maguire again. Jimmy down towards uh, Miley Donnelly. Miley Donnelly go for the shot. Going for the shot. Goalkeeper takes it on the stomach. Pats it out to CJ. CJ comes under pressure from Jerry O'Neill. Robbed by Jerry O'Neill. Jerry can't get it up. CJ steals it back. It's gone to ground again. Number 10 is Nicky Horton. Nicky Horton's striding away. He's getting away, bearing down on the goals. Hits the post. And there's a groan of disappointment there. He did everything right and the steal upright denied him. Not many players have the speed or the courage to go for the, the little tapped over point from such a narrow angle. Kilmesson Wise now mounting up. Ryan Carley hits a better one out to the dugout. Jack Smith is out there. Una McCaffrey, David Donnelly, Decky Murray. Chucky Keane gets a little bit of the ball, as does Paul Dunn. It's in the hand of Unan. Unan goes over the shoulder, drives to his forwards. Willie Donnelly. It comes to Benny Murray, who's corner forward. Can't get up the ball. He's been hassled there by Anton O'Neill. Anton O'Neill is an old stick, but he won't pull back. Johnny Horton kicks it out. Iver. And the far side, we've run of it. Simon's unattended. Iver going himself. Still has the ball and the stick. He's knocked to the ground. Um, a hip motion, a thigh motion, and there'll be a free here for uh, Trim from about 30 metres and an opportunity to go two points up. Strength and speed carried him through there. Benny with the simplest of tasks. We've played 12 minutes of the second half here, so we have Frank Foley coming out to look to Irish tie. And uh, Benny gets his third free off the game. 1 6 plays uh, 7 points. Kilmesson have gone from 3 up to 2 down. They must respond to this now. Alan Duffy drives it down the right hand side. Good, good long puck out. Drops beyond David Donnelly and Declan Murray. Chucky is in there. Patted away, spins away. Eddie O'Brien gets a little spinning out towards the line. Paul Donnelly goes for the lift, has the ball, gets away, going to drive. Punches for the score here now. There's a loud cheer. Paul Donnelly gets a second score. Narrows the gap for Kilmes, and Paul Donnelly got the first score, and he's now after getting another good score. We've played 13 minutes. It's eight points. Plays 1-6. There's only a point in it. Benny Murray now in the corner for... Uh, Trim, Nicky Horton and Boot McGuinness in the two corners for Kilmesson. Out to the middle of the field, uh, it breaks away. John Davis, Darren Fay gets a little bit. Alan Smith will arrive first, drives it to the forwards. Loman Dempsey, Willie Donnelly kicks, Benny Murray, Loman. Benny comes around, has the ball. We'll go for the shot now. Well blocked there by Anton O'Neill. Johnny Horton has the ball in his hand, flicks it on to Jimmy Maguire. Can't get the ball in, steps Loman Dempsey. Jimmy Maguire going after him. Joey O'Loughlin has the ball, running forward, Anton O'Neill waits, give it to Alan Smith, Alan Smith in the corner, back across field, Benny Murray has it, gets it second time, flicks it back to Alan Smith, unattended in the corner, Kilmesson lads chasing the ball around, leaving the red shirts, uh, Jimmy Maguire tries to hoosh it down to the weight and Paul Dennelly, that's Gay Kennedy, Anton O'Neill, good solid play from both sets of players, it's, uh, it will be a throw ball surely. Lots of uh, shouts from various players. Both teams losing their shape. Chase and ball. Now we'll have a throw ball here. Um, Loman Dempsey has stepped up for uh, Trim. Anton O'Neill will step up for Kilmesson. Behind is Alan Smith unattended. 
uh, Johnny Horton sees that. It's at feet coming through. Is Decky Murray? There was a, a stick up there, and there's going to be a book, and uh, it was Johnny Horton going to be booked for leaving the stick in uh, Declan Murray's face. Free in from about 40 odd metres here on the right. John Horton acknowledges his indiscretion. We've played nearly uh, 15 minutes of this half. 1 6 plays 8, there's a point in it. Benny Murray, apart from three frees, has been well marshalled there by uh, Anton O'Neill. Back in the line with Willie Donnelly, Loman Dempsey. Anton O'Neill steps into the net. Benny will go for the point, no doubt. Up she goes, and it's given wide. Now, that was a close one. I wouldn't like to call it. It looked straight over the black spot of the upright, but uh, it remains a one-point game. Alan Duffy now poking out the longer of the two keepers. Goes for Boot McGuinness. Jimmy Maguire is there. Uh, it's been bundled across. The rugby scrum is forming. Uh, Kevin Walsh gets it away. It goes off the player. Trim line. Ronan Fitzsimons. We're having a chat here with Jimmy Maguire and Joey O'Loughlin. Ronan Fitzsimons back in his own half uh, back line, taking this sideline cut. Good striker of the ball. Long, long ball across the middle of the field into the space. Loman Dempsey going out there. Jack Smith takes the first time of asking the way you would. Chucky Keena there on Paul Dunn. Chucky Keena drives it down there, taken by Keith McAvoy. Keith McAvoy charging out the wing. Delivers it down the line as far as Union. Union misses it. Jack Smith doesn't. Jack looking for space. Comes across field, diagonally across field, looking for the Jimmy Maguire, Jimmy McGuinness corner. Jimmy Maguire has first time of asking in towards Jerry O'Neill. Jerry O'Neill gets past. Will he get to the ball first? Brian Carley slides out there well. It's on the ground. We're forming another rugby scrum. I can't see who is the ball. It's patted into the bed, but I think the whistle has gone. Jerry O'Neill held onto the ball. It's a penalty. Nicky put the ball into the net, but the whistle had gone. There must have been a bit of leg pulling. And I pull your leg not that there was leg pulling and we now have a penalty and this could be the pivotal moment of the game. We played 16 or 17 minutes of the second half. We're entered in the fourth quarter. Trim lead by one, a penalty. Nicky Horton, no doubt. Alan Smith going back in there. Decky Murray and Brian Carley will defend for Trim. There's a hush and a chatter from the crowd. Feel he must go for the goal at this stage. Look, oh, he spun it up. He gets the point. Um, Nicky gets a second free. And it's a draw match now. It's nine players, one, six. We've had five uh, wides each that I have marked down. So it's even, Stephen. We've played uh, 18. We've played 108 minutes of this game. And there's nothing between the teams. Have to ask Nicky afterwards what he meant to do there. I felt it spun off the toe off the stick and went over the bar Ed O'Brien having a steady game drives it into his forwards 2-1-2, two two. Jared O'Neill breaks away Jared still fighting for it, still fighting has it up in his hand, looking for space can't get space, goes left uh, mightn't just have gone left, Paul Dunley was waiting he had come out of the left pocket and was forcing his way right and there just wasn't room back there not to worry Brian Carley Looking around the breeze into his face. Brian hitting it about 70 metres. This one is a good bit longer. Coming out towards a union's hand. Alan Smith will get the ball. He'll drive to the corner. It spins away there from Ivor who pulls it back into his hand. And Ivor Burton down on the goals again. Uh, James Battersby, it spins through. Anton O'Neill saw that. John Davis is back there. Benny Murray is in there. Putting pressure. John Davis has the ball. He gets hoosh, gets the ball away here. Jack Smith is on his own will drive, hits it, spins it with the shaft, it goes 60 yards, Boots' hand goes there, he throws off his marker, there's runners everywhere, he goes for his own score, there's a great cheer, and Jimmy McGuinness brings up his third score, Kilmesson take the lead back at 10 points, plays 1-6, and uh, from uh, a situation where Trim might have scored to Ivor McCaffrey, uh, frantic defensive work uh, got it to Jack Smith, 
the long hand, uh, Boot McGuinness's hand and Una McCaffrey's hand here has really been the, the hallmark of the first final and becoming the hallmark of the second final again. Out to the 70-yard line. Decky Murray having a quiet game, has the ball. Punches it forward into the corner. Out there is Benny. Anton O'Neill is out there. The sod is very soft. Benny gets it again. Anton is behind him. Looking for Ronan, but Simon's Ronan doesn't get it first time. Gets it second time. We'll, we'll take the point. We'll put it over the bar. And it's a draw match again. Ronan but Simons gets his second score. 1-7. Plays 10 points. We have nearly 20 minutes of the second half played. The breeze coming up a little bit. Alan Duffy out to the middle of the field. Jersey pulling out there. No whistle on the play. Una McCaffrey has the ball. He goes forward. Jimmy McGuinness takes the knock on the head. It blocks off his head. It'll be a line ball to trim. Alan Smith will take this. He's been told to go back the two metres that he borrowed, but he borrows them all the same. 10 or 11 minutes to go. 10 points apiece. A good cut from Alan Smith, landing 20 metres out. Eunan McCaffrey comes for it and gets. gets goes for a shot, gets blocked. Anton O'Neill gets it. Second time of asking, stick in his face from Benny Murray. Two players. Blocking each other out. Gay Kennedy gets the ball this time for Trim. Jimmy Maguire is out there. Gay Kennedy still has the ball. Jimmy Maguire pats it down. Anton O'Neill is there on the ground on his knees. It breaks through. That's uh, Ed O'Brien. Ed O'Brien gets about 20 yards on it. It breaks to David Donnelly. Johnny Horton takes the loose ball. Drives it down here looking for Nicky. Nicky can't see it. Darren Fay sees it first. Paul Donnelly is there. Nicky Horton is there. Darren forced to retreat 20 yards. Drives it out towards the line. Will it be kept in? It's not kept in. Kilmesson will have a line here from their own 50 metre line. Passions are getting high. There's um, some 10 minutes left here. It's now given as um, a trim ball. Must have been blocked off Darren Fay's stick. Ronovit Simons uh, nearly within his range to cut this over, I would say. Up it goes. Is it long enough? Landing on the five. The big hand that spills away. James Bathersby will bring it out. Bringing it out far. He gets blocked down there by Loman Dempsey and it's given wide. Alan Duffy looks left and right. Jimmy Maguire around the middle of the field. Joey O'Loughlin doing a marking game throughout this game. Jimmy Maguire has yet to score. Got two the first day. Alan Duffy has been hitting these long. This one is landing out on the trim, 70. Jimmy McGuinness is patted away, driven in there by Eunan. The long, long ball landing on the five. It spills away. Who sees it? Benny sees it. Keeper is out. Keeper better keep coming. He does keep coming. Uh, Ivor McCaffrey is there, driven out there by uh, Alan Duffy. Out over the line. Line ball to trim. Uh, Boot McGuinness there. Uh, Rorton at David Donnelly. Some point. Ronan with Simons. Good, good long cut landing on the five again. Three on three, spills away. Anton O'Neill going to get there for oh, Jimmy Maguire and the slash right across him. Um, Anton O'Neill wants to add a few words to that and uh, we'll uh, take the free and we'll play on. We have 23 minutes gone. The score says 10 to 1 7. Willie Donnelly. Is going to throw the ball for uh, reiterating the referee's initial sentiments. Now we're going to have a, a booking. An exchange of opinions. Um, unnecessary cheers from parts of the crowd. We're at the crucial stage of this final. Jimmy now slowing down what was a very, very good game at 10 points apiece. He could just exhort the players just to play it on and leave it at that. There's no point killing a good game. Many thousands of people have paid £4 each to see the game, so we need a spectacle. It spins across the field. Who's the first sprinter going out there? Ivor McCaffrey, Jack Smith. Ivor gets there first. He slips. Jack Smith is still there. Ivor has the ball. It fumbles, gets it second time. Hits it across, Chucky Kina intercepts, drives long over the Kithog. Miley Donnelly and Darren Fay, it spills away. 
Nicky Horton. Decky Murray comes back. Decky drives it straight down the middle again. Ivor McCaffrey has it. It's well blocked there by uh, by Johnny Horton, who gets it second time of ask, and he's kicked away. It's John Davis, in actual fact, to Decky Murray. Decky Murray straight back to Alan Smith. Alan Smith goes for the score. It's going over the bar for my money. <laughs> Trim take the lead. And there's about seven minutes all told left in the game. One eight plays ten points. We have a sub on here. Number 19 is uh, Evan Lynham, who's a very young gosson. And he's going on here instead of uh, Loman Dempsey. Ball driven out there. Must win ball around the middle of the field. If you're going to win the championship, Jimmy McGuinness is there. Paul Dunn is there. It spills only as far as Joey O'Loughlin. Joey gets it, doesn't get it, has it second time. Chucky Keena throws himself in. Joey has it, flicks it out to Gay Kennedy. Trim looking the more composed just at the moment. They've appointed a good. Benny Murray tries to get it. Has it. Good block there from Anton O'Neill. Johnny Horton comes through the two of them. Flicks it to Anton. Very close to the line. Held back in. Benny Murray pulls it back again. Ed O'Brien. Anton O'Neill picks it up. Drives it on only as far as Decky Murray. Decky takes it in his hand. Makes the space. Drives it as far as Johnny Horton. Johnny, oh, he, he misheaded it. It spins up. The pull. Jimmy Maguire to Miley Donnelly. Miley Donnelly looking for space to make the shot. He has the distance. Punches it to Nicky Horton in the corner. Nicky going for the shot now. Up it goes. The crowd, no, goalkeeper plucks it down. Jerry O'Neill puts the keeper under pressure. Going back there is Kevin Walsh. Kevin Walsh gets half blocked. The boot McGuinness will arrive first. Una McCaffrey. It's driven in field. Picked off by uh, Paul Dunn. It spins away to Jerry O'Neill. Jerry will go for his own shot. And it's gone over the bar. Jerry O'Neill gets his third score and it's a draw match. There's about five minutes left. It's uh, 11 points, plays 1-8. It has been even money coming into this game. It remains even money. They've had about six wides apiece. Brian Carley with the ball. There's an awful lot of players in the middle of the field. Difficult to win possession for either team. Landon out there. Union. David Donnelly, Decky Murray, Chucky Keena. Chucky gets the ball, spins away. Back again, Paul Donnelly and Darren Fay. And Paul Dunn, I think, drives it forward. It comes to Alan Smith. Alan Smith being marked by Johnny Horton. Alan drives a high ball, landing 25 yards out there. Ivor McCaffrey, Willie Donnelly spills it away. Ronan Fitzsimons comes up. He fumbles, goes to Benny Murray. Benny is looking for the shot across to Ronan Fitzsimons, who has walked away. He gets a shot. It's not the shot he wants. It spins across the goals. Goalkeeper Alan Duffy has the ball. Sprints out. Willing to punch it out on the kit though. Gay Kennedy will take it in the hand. Jimmy Maguire is there. Brings him down. There'll be a free here from 60 metres. He had to um, put the stick in really. Couldn't let Gay Kennedy run the whole wing as he saw fit. Uh, Benny Murray now is the opportunity to put Trim ahead. There's four minutes left in this game. About two and a half minutes plus about two as I counted. There's another sub warming up on the far side for Trim. Kilmeston have left the team as it was. Benny from about 60 yards. It's going out to the left, out to the left, and this one will have gone wide. Now, nerves. Both teams again aware of the fact that you dare to concede a goal at this moment in time. There would be no way back. Even a point at this moment in time would be an enormous um, an enormous score. Alan Duffy hits a really long ball right down to the 60-metre line. It spins off several six. Jack Smith comes through. He gets taken down. There's no free. Nicky Horton has the ball. He charges on. As far as David Donnelly having a quiet time, he goes for the shot, and it's gone wide. Benny Murray had a go. The referees are comparing notes on time. I would imagine we're approaching the last real minute of this game. Brian Carley has the ball. Everyone heading out towards that dugout. I don't know what the attraction over there is. It spills away yet again. Jack Smith gets it as far as his opposite number. Darren Fay. Darren drives it down here. Looking for uh, 
Evan, Evan Lynham has the ball. Evan going for the shot, it's low. Willie Donnelly forced to uh, block it, and it's a 65 here. 65 for Trim. Willie Donnelly gives it back out there. Opportunity here from uh, the 70 meter line. Decky Murray will take this. Alan Smith lighting with intent over there. Should be picked up. He's only 40 metres out. Una McCaffrey waiting on the 40. Unattended as well. A certain element of inattention here from the defensive line backers. Jimmy Maguire spots it for Stecky setting himself now to see can he win this championship with one belt to the ball. It's going to be long enough. It's going to be long enough. It's going wide. It's kicked. And it's gone wide. The crowd held its breath. We are now going into overtime. The referee is looking at the watches. It's a draw match, 11 points to 1-8. There's no 10-1 to one the draw left here now. I go so far as 6-4 to four on the draw. Any score now will win it for either of the team. And both teams have suddenly, uh, I'd have to say, got a little bit tentative, a little bit nervous. They're back like gladiators, afraid to strike the blow that might miss. And you'd lose it on the rebound. There's the long whistle, and we're going to have to shake hands. Oh, no, we're going into overtime. Now, I think both teams will certainly leave the field and go for a reconsideration. Willie Donnelly is heading out that way. Um, we really are having a hell of a game here. It was 10 points all the first day. It's 11 points all the second day. Are we leaving or are we not leaving? Most of the players are going to stay this time. So whilst they're having their chat and seeing if they can find some little added ingredient, have we'll have a break. Are we in? Now we face... Uh, extra time here in that boy the rain has stayed off the breeze has calmed itself down uh, it would seem that um, trim will uh, start into the breeze towards the dressing room end we're having 15 minutes a half the crowd are exhausted uh, from nervous tension uh, there's every chance in the world that after uh, the next 30 minutes of play we could have a draw match here there are no obvious changes um, Una McCaffrey going a one mile an hour to his position. Paul Donnelly coming out to give him a, a tug out of the area. We're nearly ready to go at um, 4.38. First ball breaks across there. Miley and Una, two big men. Goes off Miley's foot and it'll be a trim ball. 1.8 plays 11. Both teams look uh, fresh. Trim were doing a bit of massaging. Kilmesson were doing a lot of serious talking at half time. Very little will win this game. Very little could lose this game. Ronan for Simons wins the first ball and will look for a shot. He uses his speed to come around the Kilmesson backs. He's going and going and going. Here comes the shot. It's low. Alan Duffy saw it all the way. Alan Duffy has it in his hand. Comes out running. Kicks it out the field. John Davis. David Donnelly back, a lot of red shirts around him, heads into them, going to have to strike, blocked away, John Davis has it, drives it out on the kit dog, long ball, Joey O'Loughlin and Jimmy Maguire, Nicky Horton has it, Nicky going left, hand across field, Jack Smith running on, Chucky Keena running on, uh, back there is number 20, we have uh, Tom Canty is in, we'll see in a minute who's gone off, uh, it's worked his way out here, Boot McGuinness, and Gay Kennedy boot flicks it in towards Nicky. Nicky 70 yards out. The shot is half blocked, spilling out to the corner. Tom Canty goes out. Tom fumbles. That's Chucky Keena. Chucky goes for the shot. That's blocked there by Keith McAvoy. It's coming as far as Alan Smith. Alan drives to his forwards. John Horton saw it all the way. It spills away. John will get the second time. It spills away. James Battersby. It's on the ground. Uh, Miley Donnelly pushes it towards Safer Waters. He comes under pressure from two trim players, Evan uh, Lynham. Um, the small man ran into the big man. I know people and mammies get upset by that sort of thing. The ball breaks out there and it'll be a Kilmesson line, even though both sides are claiming that Terry Ferguson came from a position very far down the line. A line ball here from about 60 metres. Cut is long enough, it's long enough, it's going, can Jerry O'Neill hold, he does, he's in on the goals, he's looking for space, it's on the ground, it's still on the ground, the full back is there, it's been punched out, Jimmy Maguire can't get it, it's hit by Severtle, Joey O'Loughlin, hooshes it out, 
Boot McGuinness will get the spillage. He's coming under pressure. He gets blocked there by Gay Kennedy. Boot goes again. Deggy Murray comes out with it, takes it the stick and the hand. Drives it across field, two on two. Johnny Horton bats it down. Comes through to take the ball. Big shoulder there again. The small man run into the big man. Johnny Horton gets it back to Anton O'Neill. Anton O'Neill delivers the long ball. Jimmy Maguire. That was Kevin Walsh. Jimmy McGuinness goes for his score. And that is a majestic score, so it is. Jimmy McGuinness puts Kilmesson into the lead. And we have played um, some four minutes of this uh, first period of second half. And the match is a, a lively encounter right from the first Referee a little bit more tolerant, not blowing all the time and hopefully not stopping to give a, a parable or a sermon on every issue. Brian Carley drives it out here, it lands on the 70. Ed O'Brien uh, interfered with uh, Gay Kennedy there approaching the fallen ball. And of course 10 or 20 yards for uh, deciding to feel aggrieved about the issue. Becky Murray will step up here to try and equalise, he is about 70 odd metres to do within his range difficult to hold the accuracy over the length though up she goes long enough long enough dropping short Anthony gone into the net Decky Murray puts the ball into the net um, more a fumble I feel uh, Anton looking very disconsolate the score is now 2-8 plays uh, 12 points Trim lead by two. We have played five minutes of this first period of extra time. Alan Duffy drives it out. It's landing on the trim 70. Two on one. Boot McGuinness gets a bit of the ball. The end of that stick there goes into... Um, it's Gay Kennedy. No, it's uh, Decky Murray took the end of it. Frankie Lynham comes out to have a look ahead. It's an accidental tile of the stick. I don't think he's cut... He's certainly battered, and he just wants a bit of time. Give me a minute. Draw breath. 2-8 plays 12 points. An unhappy goal there for um, against the Kilmesson defence, who were playing well. The 70 wasn't reaching it, and... Um, it's cold here today and it's wet. We're ready to go. Drinks for everybody. Everyone is quiet waiting to see what happens next. Very even game. Kilmessa now two points down with it all to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come out. It's a little lad behind here and his yeah, sister's. No, no, but he's getting it there. In really there's, a, there's a little orange fella there I, making I the noise. I don't mind him. Now, we're having two extra minutes here. Um, the management having a good long look at uh, Decky Murray to see, is he sound? I'd be amazed if he doesn't play on. He's having a drink of water. He's bruised uh, above his right eye. We're ready to go. Now he seems to be hit on the eyebrow. Round of applause for uh, Decky. Now we're having a throw ball here. Gay Kennedy and Boot McGuinness. Nicky Horton behind. Uh, Boot scoops it away. It comes as far as Kevin Walsh. Kevin Walsh makes the delivery over here. Anton O'Neill takes it underneath. It will drive it across field. Good long delivery. Looking for Jimmy Maguire. Joey O'Loughlin. A shadow on him. It beats a lot of players. Jerry O'Neill flicks it on. He uh, loses it in the bend. Jimmy Maguire there back to him. There's a whistle on the play. We'll have medical attention followed by a throw in. Passions getting aroused out there. I can hear uh, players uh, roaring and barking at each other. Not a good sign. Jared flicked that on and decided to go on the outer curve chasing it and uh, got spilled over. John Andrews looking worried here underneath us. Emma Taverton trim on his back. We ready to go? We're ready to go. Throw ball here. Jack Smith on Keith McAvoy. Jack Smith breaks the ball into the corner. Going out there is Chucky Keena. Tom Canty is now playing. I haven't worked out yet who's seeded ground for Tom Canty. Shot there from Jared O'Neill. Landon on the five. Does a lot of players. 
it hits the upright, it sails back. Nicky, let's fly again, hits the side net. And two gun chances for uh, Kilmesson there, and it's well John Andrews can hold his head. And uh, Trim getting the rub of the relic at the moment now. The little bit of luck, Nicky Horton earlier hit the upright for a point. Uh, the ball hit the upright and then went into the side netting. Brian Carley drives it out for having a stoppage because uh, Dickey Murray is not happy. We have played in this particular period some nine minutes to have it counted and the referee has stopped to play for Dickey Murray. Actually, Murray would be a big loss to uh, Trim, captain, an inspirational figure. Now we're all out. Decision time. Decision time. Very often, if a midfielder gets damaged, you can put him into the corner forward, where his duties will be less onerous. The sun is actually shining. That doesn't stop me from being freezing up here. Clouds are wet. The wind is blowing from Navin. Now, it's obviously swelling out and impairing vision. And we're ready to go again. We better add on another minute for this. We have about five minutes. Well, we, sh we should have now nearly eight minutes. All the first aid and people are being sent off. Um, Decky has gone a half forward. Ronan Simons has come midfield, so he has. David Donnelly going to pick him up. Uh, John Davis going to pick up Deccan Murray. Uh, Brian Carley drives out a long one, landing in the middle of the field. Jack Smith is out there, breaks through. Miley Dolly tries to shovel it. John Horton drives it down. It gets picked off there by Kevin Walsh, who's still in it. Miley Donnelly comes charging through, drives the ball to the forwards. There's a push on Jerry O'Neill, and Kilmesson will have an opportunity here to narrow the gap. The Tom Canty came in a little bit uh, overzealous. Are we having another substitution for Trim or not? <laughs> Nicky Horton here has about 35 metres to do. He drives it up and it's over the bar. Nicky Horton gets his third free. Off the game, uh, there's one in it now, 13 plays, 2-8. Nicky Horton has three frees. Many Murray has three frees. There's an awful lot of things, aspects of this game, very, very even. Now, night beginning to fall. Brian Carley driving it out. This one is landing short at the 70. Gay Kennedy goes for the catch and makes it. His delivery to Alan Smith. Alan Smith just gets it. Flicks it on. Double hands it. Referee not willing to blow the whistle. Nicky Horton, Gay Kennedy... Ed O'Brien, Alan Smith, Paul Donnelly. Paul drives it through, one-on-one. -on -one. Jerry O'Neill tries to let it run. It doesn't run. Tom Canty will get the Clearton's out there. He's blocked by Chucky Keena. Going back there is CJ, who's fouled. Free out there from the 20-metre line. I think Paul Dunn has given way to Tom Canty. CJ doesn't hit it very well, comes as far, it's missed there, Jack Smith, uh, Ronan Pitt Simons, David Donnelly, Ronan Pitt Simons, Ronan Pitt Simons will lift, there's an awful lot of blue shirts around him, good pressure, and it's deemed to be a Kilmesson ball, I thought the Kilmesson lads, here we go, the game has been played on, it's not been played on, we'll take it again. There's about two, three minutes plus, two or three minutes over time, difficult to ascertain what way that they're going to Gage this, Jack Smith will take it, Ed O'Brien makes a run. There's a long, long one from Jack Smith, there's a great one, one on one, little touch from Jerry O'Neill. Boot McGuinness misses it and there's a free there on Kevin Walsh, it'll be another free out for CJ Murta. Brian Carley coming to take this one out, CJ just carrying a leg a little bit gingerly. Gives way to the goalkeeper, more space around the middle of the field for some strange reason. Not a good lift. Gets it up in the air. It's coming out towards this line. Miley Donnelly has it. Up goes the hand and he lands running. Decky Murray chasing him. Miley continuing. Uh, Nicky Horton pulling out Darren Fay. Miley goes for the shot and there's the equaliser. Very intelligent running there from Nicky Horton. He ran to the corner flag. Tucked Darren Fay out with him. 
Miley Donnelly went down the corridor, brings up his third point. No bailing today for Paul Donnelly, and it's a draw match. It's 14 plays 2 8. We're coming up to the last minute of this period, plus what I would count as three minutes of uh, Decky Murray overtime. A longer uh, puck out from Brian Carley. Three on three, well taken over there by Keith McAvoy. Keith McAvoy punches it into his forwards. Anton O'Neill reds it, reds it, he gets stripped, it spills away. Gay Kennedy has the ball, looking for support on the wing. He's going for the shot, it's lofted up. In there is Evan Callan Duffy takes it high. Player gone down, Alan Duffy clears it long down the middle of the field. Nicky Horton comes under pressure from Darren Fay. Jimmy Maguire can't lift. Batted away, Gay Kennedy, John Davis, Ed O'Brien goes for the lift. John Davis gets it second him. Gay Kennedy takes him around the head. We have a player down, uh, James Battersby down. Um, John Davis um, took a, a, a large uh, belt there from Gay Kennedy. Uh, people getting uh, impassioned here behind me, uh, they sometimes forget that it's a man's game. No lipstick out here, earrings or uh, fancy doo Old Trafford haircuts, the way you would. Not a lot of dyed blonde hair either. Maybe the referee has a touch of dye in the hair. Can't tell from here. Now, where are we? 14 ply points plays 2-8. Um... Loman Dempsey been reintroduced, perhaps? Have to see what's... No, it's just positional changes. Uh, Benny Murray been booked? Or is that... Uh, I wouldn't think Benny Murray's been booked. Uh, we have a, a substitution in here. It's not obvious who's going off. We'll work it out in a minute. I seem to be looking at the wrong things, don't I? Loman Dempsey is back in. Uh, Evan Kelly and himself will take up the full forward perch. I can't just see who's gone off at the moment. It could be Dickie Murray. Dickie Murray putting on a tracksuit bottom very gingerly. I think Declan's game is finished here at the moment. We're in overtime here. Um, free Tanton O'Neill. Good long one. Going to land on the five. Land on the five. Keeper comes out. Bats it out. It's lashed in. And it's lashed wide. Um, I think Jack Smith had that opportunity. Calls for the 45. Not given by either umpire or referee. Great O there, the lash um, spun, uh, I, I think in myself I got a deflection, but uh, we must accept the rough with the smooth. Brian Carley here, uh, draw match as we end the sec first period. We played 120 and 15, 135 minutes. Long delivery, high delivery, the wind is holding it up. Uh, it breaks there to John Davis, John Davis comes under pressure. It breaks away. Lots of red shorts going out there. Una McCaffrey goes on the Kitok across field. Looking for Ivory. Mildly Donnelly is on him. Ivor has it in the hand. Ivor looking to pass it. It's half blocked. Anton O'Neill. Uh, Johnny Horton. Trim now have five on one. Alan Smith. Great chance. Great chance. Dropping short. In goes Evan Kelly. Or Evan uh, Lynham. Again, the Kilmesson defence lost the line of it. Uh, Benny Murray puts it into the net and goes down on the belated charge. The goal will stand. Trim have got two goals in this period. Kilmeston have got three points. The shot was short. Alan Duffy spun it out. Uh, young uh, Evan Lynham jumped in. It broke away, and uh, Benny Murray waited for the broken ball, and it went into the net. It's now 3-8 plays 14 points and the goals are beginning to tell Kilmesson getting more scores and uh, more quality scores but um, at critical moments the trim players are getting into space and uh, creating shapes and getting players over and creating panic now Decky Murray has left the field Benny Murray looks as if he can continue. Alan Duffy is on the ground. And Gorman calling over medical help here for uh, Alan Duffy. There's lots of waving. No response from the sideline. Peter Corn is now coming. Alan Duffy holding the wrist very limp, which is a bad sign in a goalkeeper. He's taken up his perch. Uh, he must be happy to continue or he'd stay down on his uh, 
We have played some nearly um, three minutes of overtime. There has been a lot of stoppages. I would say that it's over now. Jimmy Henry calling for the ball. We'll, we'll head now for the, the second period. Willie Donnelly going back to take the puck out. That's not a good sign when the goalkeeper can't take the puck out. Long and high, landing down towards Boot McGuinness. Out goes Union McCaffrey's hand. Well nudged away by Nicky Horton. Back there is one of it, Simons and Jimmy Maguire. Joey O'Loughlin, Nicky Horton, Boot McGuinness. Boot McGuinness has, flicks it across field, looking for Nicky Horton. The Watson delivered. We'll have three long whistles there, and we'll have a stoppage. We'll have half time in overtime. 3 8 is 17 and 14 points is 3 points in it and Kilmessen have it all to do here in the 15 minutes to do it we're going for huddles again the wind has gone down Eugene O'Neill the Kilmessen sub goalkeeper warming up over there in yellow I think they're going to introduce some Willie Donnelly above in the net very worried and Gorman very worried we may be heading for the sub goalkeeper Now, right, we're ready for the last period of overtime here. Um, Benny Murray after getting his goal and um, putting Trim a goal up with 15 minutes to go here. Kilmessen have it all to do. I can't see any changes. Um, Kilmessen have stayed with their um, initial. Um, 15. Jack Smith is now a wing forward. Nicky is on the 40. Jimmy McGuinness has gone half forward. So Kilmesson strengthening up the half forward line there. The necessary marker has gone with them. Uh, Loman Dempsey back at full forward on Willie Donnelly. Evan Lynham has stayed on. Uh, 16 in now is Kevin Murray is getting his run for Trim. Gay Kennedy gets the first ball and we're away at 5 o'clock dead here on a very cold autumn day. In at by Gay Kennedy has it again. Ed O'Brien on him, driving it straight in and short, comes across, Anton O'Neill plucks it out, looking for space, flicks it on there towards Miley Donnelly, Miley's big hand, looking to come past Union, slips back across to Johnny Horton, over hit, Johnny under pressure, Ivor McCaffrey, Burton Dowell and Willie Donnelly, flicks it in field, looking for uh, Evan uh, Lynham, Evan goes for the shot, and Evan puts it over the bar, and young Evan Lynham, at 16 years of age, Gets the score on the board and Trim now have four points to the good. Mistake there from Kilmes and uh, Paul Donnelly overstruck it towards uh, Johnny Horton and uh, the ball was moved on. Alan Duffy's puck out now landing on the 50. Miley Donnelly, Eddie O'Brien coming forward. He gets hit on the head. A free here from the 70-yard line. Nicky Horton coming back to take these. Kilmesson will have to go with a hurry-up offence now. Time is against them. There's a lot of scoring and four points here. It's hit long, it's going to land on the five. There's lots of players out there, hands on the ground. The ball is on the ground, it spins up. Uh, looks like uh, Tom Canty down the field to Alan Smith. Alan Smith will drive. Alan Smith drives long. Out here is James Battersby. James Battersby makes the catch, never lost the side of it. Pats it up the wing there. Gay Kennedy will get it. Ed O'Brien coming up to put him in under pressure. He slips, flicks it back for Alan Smith. Nicky Horton is there. Nicky has it in his hand trying to break through. It'll be a free here from 75 metres. Uh, take your time. Stand back 10 yards. Nicky might make the range here. Again, it'll be landing on the five. Kilmesson could do it a goal to get back into this. It's landing out on the five. Jerry O'Neill is there. Breaks down. Uh, Kevin Walsh has it. Kevin under pressure. Continues on with the ball. Will kick it forward now. Looking for Ronan Fitzsimons. Anton O'Neill is there. Ronan stays on his feet. Alan Smith again has come out to this wing into space, driven long, three on three in field, Willie Donnelly has the ball, Willie wins the ball and the free, he's going to take it quickly, takes it quickly towards Paul Donnelly, Paul can't get it first time, gets it second time, comes under pressure there from Kevin Murray, there's a free there, Paul Donnelly will take it himself, he's on his own 70, he's got 90 to do, he hits a chart looking for Jack Smith, Jack Smith out in front, Jimmy De Guinness has it now, he's heading towards the corner, the diagonal ball is landing on the five keeper. Punched down by Tom Candy, Jared O'Neill. It goes off a foot. And um, that was a great opportunity for Kilmesson. And a 65 ensues. A, a good ball from Jimmy McGuinness. It spun out and uh, Jared O'Neill got the shot, but it hit legs. 
And we'll now have uh, Jared is down on that. <laughs> now Anton O'Neill getting instructions. Do we take the point and look for the goal later? Or do we look for the goal now and take the point? We've played four, nearly four minutes in this period. Trim have uh, four points in the bag. Darren Fay running out of Nicky Horton. This one is going to land, land on the goal. Goalkeeper takes on his chest. It's surely in the net. It's in the net now. I would say it's surely in the net. Uh, the umpires who weren't in luck and left it at that. Um, passions are now aroused in there. Um, I felt the goalkeeper had the ball and he certainly uh, stood back a full step. But there was no officials to see the goal and it's a free out. CJ going back to take this. Nearly five minutes of the second period of overtime played. Trim in no hurry. Long delivery landing on the 70. Goes past Anton O'Neill. Ronovit Simons has the ball. He's charging away. He's going for the shot. He's hooked there by David Donnelly. Anton O'Neill arrives in. Anton looking for the pick. He has the pick coming out through the players. Drives it up the wing. It spins away. Whose ball is it? It's going to be given as a, a throw ball or a trim ball. Trim ball. 70 meter line. Ronovit Simons will take this. It's becoming a very dark evening here, so it is. Ivor McCaffrey on the five, just coming in towards him. One on one, Alan Duffy has it. Goes down the line looking for space to release it. Punches it out the wing towards Paul Donnelly. Paul takes it down, it spills away. Gay Kennedy is in there. Paul Donnelly has it again, drives it up the wing looking for Nicky Horton. Darren Fay kicks it away to Ronan Fitzsimons. Nicky Horton going out to put him under pressure, flicked in field. Trim playing the short game the whole time, players in support. Driven on here, oh, Johnny Horton didn't hear the call. He gets it now, this time he brings the ball out in front of him is Paul Donnelly. Paul can't get the space, the Trim, the trim players now sense victory and they're not letting any Kilmessen player settle on the ball. David Donnelly has the ball, he charges on there, gets past three players. There was an elbow left in there from Una McCaffrey. There's a free here, Jimmy McGuinness will take it quickly. Across here to Jimmy Maguire. Jimmy Maguire is going to have to take on his marker. He goes past and he's taken down there by uh, Joey O'Loughlin, who's had um, a tight day all day, Mark. And this is left for Nicky Horton, who really must take the point here. We're six minutes into this 15-minute period. Kilmessen are four down. They really must take a score now. Brian Carley looks for uh, cornerbacks to cover the corners. Nicky knocks it up and... He gets his score, Nicky gets his fourth free. There's now three in it. There's a goal between the teams. We've played some six and a half minutes. It's uh, 15 plays, three, nine. Brian Carley with the ball. Landing out in the middle of the field. Boot McGuinness is there. Ivor Una McCaffrey is there. Unan gets the ball. Drives it on instantly, looking for Evan. Evan Lynham, and here comes the trim men again on the burst. It's number 16, Kevin Murray. Alan Duffy makes the block. David Donnelly tries to drive, can't get out of the danger area. Hard to see who has it. Coming through there is a James Battersby. James Battersby won the ball and won the free. Uh, Boot McGuinness uh, coming out the wing. Something is said, and um, there'll be a free from the 40-meter line player down over there there was a, a, a one on one uh, wrestling match as the ball came in over the top there I didn't see um, who was um, wrestling with who we have a stoppage here on the plate now Paul Donnelly is playing on the 40. Jared O'Neill is running across field. Darren Fay is going partially across. Play on is the call. It's Loman Dempsey who was down there. Long delivery. Gay Kennedy takes it. He falls. Comes across here. 
to Eunan McCaffrey, blocked by Paul Donnelly. Chucky Keane has it. It breaks in field. Nicky Horton has the ball, trying to get through. Gives it to Jared O'Neill, who can't control the ball quickly enough. He still has the ball. He goes for the shot. He's blocked. There's an awful lot of red shirts. It's on the ground. There's more red shirts than blue shirts. It's spilling across. Taken away by Gay Kennedy. Alan Smith, who's had a good game. 